last year. <laughs> last game. The roster. I can't remember his first name. Caleb. Throwing the man. Oh, that's what I should do. I should open a text. Who the greatest? No, not the latest. Ain't that debatable? Yeah. Check the stats. This the Jerry Will Ryan show nine. No days off. You've been grinding. I've been grinding too. Made it through the storm. Great clouds. You see me shining through champions. Stay in mind. I've been balling. Better D up. I do it all. That's the only time I feed up. Blood, sweat, tears, hard work. With the passion of killer in the game. I hop in and go assassin. Nah, I can't be average. Nah, I can't be last. Just always first and nothing. Doubt him said I was bluffing. See him after I went like I thought you were saying something. I told him that I was coming. Gun in the head drumming. Shit shots at my fears. Who thought they went in the running? Why would I be nervous? I've been training for this day. I'll be like a freight train. Any problems in my way? Never complain. They said, okay, I'll follow my dream. And if it don't pay, but anyway, what you say? I'm too busy. He getting paid, tunnel vision on my goals, like success gon' be my fate. Pray to God he take my soul if I die before I win. Give it everything you got, cause that's what it's gonna take and don't wait. Do it now, that's the time is of the essence. From a kid to a king, you are now in the presence of a new creature. Adapted new features, remember when I was a student, now I'm brighter than my teachers. Don't worry if I speak, cause if I do it, be that ether. I got structures like a zebra, up a level, I might leave you. Had a play too hard to see ya. I'm a heat up in the winter, they gon' look at me like Scar, but I'm really more like Simba always. Been the realest, I can't hang a rap with timbers, talking like I ain't gang, but I know a couple members ain't trippin' about the beat. Focused on the bigger picture, dreams in a headlock, like you thought I wouldn't get you. Grindin' like I never ate, can't make no pivotal mistake. Do you wanna be good or great? Steady now, pick up the pace. One, two, one, two, okay, now we move away. Power of the jungle, plus time, we gon' release the eight. And I'm still gon' keep my faith. God with me, so I'm straight. I'm the fire in the lake. I put the devil with his place. I don't think it's no debate. It's my time to make a shake. I done did away with fear. Y'all no longer welcome here. I just had to make it clear. You want some death and you can hear. Opponent win, it won't be easy. Game colder than the freeze. The early stages of my grind. And I was young, they ain't believe me. So in my older days, all the ballin' got them queasy. I Welcome in, fam, to another episode of That's Debatable. My name is Ryan Dietrich. 
Here with my guys, Will Ward and Jeremiah Bays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what it is. What's going on? What it is indeed. It is Monday. What's today? March 3, 28. Shout out to my mom. Happy birthday, Ma. Nice. Mama Ward. What'd you yes. get her? Uh, can't tell yet. All no, right. She went out of town, so she'll be back tomorrow. So got to keep that under wraps. Okay. But like I said, happy birthday. Number 50. Can't say that either, but. It's blessings. Blessings for sure. A young Aging fit. young. A young fit. Aging yeah. young. Episode 33, Larry Bird. Larry Legend episode. You already know, man. How about Grant Hill? Grant Hill? All right. Is this episode right. getting hurt? Oh, or is somebody man. getting hurt in the episode? I ah, see what I did there. Because ah. <laughs> after what happened last night. Bow. <laughs> you know Speaking what I'm of. About. Speaking of the thump. Let's do it. Let's get into, into it, it, man. Let's get this over <laughs> with so we can get into these final four. You already know. UNC. Let's go Tar Heels, man. Something to cheer about. Oh, man. What up, Jay Lucas? I think Jay's in the building. Jay's in the building. Literally. All right. Sunday night was the Academy Awards. So most of y'all saw it. Yeah. This is not sports but, related, people. No. <laughs> In any way, shape, or here it is. Sports related. Slap it's her gra- compact. <laughs> Slap her around the world. Lord. And this is the unedited version, right? Yes, sir. All right. Probably better mute that. <laughs> just, just in case. Let them have it, man. We're good. And I, I don't know. I mean, he's just up there making jokes. But oh, here it comes. <laughs> Did it look fake? Do it look fake? Does it look staged? Or there's, I he mean, said, Will Smith just slapped the stuff just, out of me. Yeah, you old turkey. One of the, one of the awkward. Turkey. I mean, that ain't fake. I mean, <laughs> you can tell Willie. You know, he ain't messing around. But yeah, a little, just the camera angle, whatever. He's kind of like, you know, I seen a lot of that. Like, you know, was it staged and all that? Man, ain't no way. No, nah, man, that's that's wild, but. There's some great memes. We got the meme of the year already. <laughs> Guaranteed that's the meme of 2022. Oh, uh, yeah. Pick of him. He changed, uh, Will Smith <laughs> changed his uh, jokes overnight. <laughs> hey, right. Put some respect on his name. Man, that's you know, the, Willie that, is, that is the Fresh Pence. But, man, crazy, man. Uh, <laughs> That's wild, live on television. Dude, right? I was watching that okay. live. That's the been... Oscars, the, oh, the yeah. one of the the biggest, one of the the biggest award show next to what the Grammys or something like that. It's probably the biggest. Yeah, I mean, that's man. If you care, I mean, I don't really give it. You know, I don't know. How would you awesome. handle that? Your, your wife has some type of ailment or whatever, right. and a guy's up there just you know busting jokes at everybody. At the end, your wife catches some. Now you laugh at first. And then you look over. Now, I don't know. Everybody looking at the Will Smith thing, it does get shows Jada's face where she, like, roll her eyes on some stuff. Right. And then the camera moves back to Chris Rock. And at that moment, she could have looked at Will. Anything could have happened. So, and then next thing you know, you he like, oh, look, he's coming up here. And it's just all, you know, stiff body. With the, uh, like, he did put some. Uh, it looked like when uh, Scar slap uh, Simba. Yeah, <laughs> right. King, the eyes got big. <laughs> um... I will say, pun intended. <laughs> well, yeah, <clears throat> he won Best Actor award like you know, half an hour later, whatever in the show. Yeah, and he got up there and gave his speech and was talking about, you know, his role as King Richard, yeah. you know, Venus and Serena's dad. And man, he watched about, the movie this morning. I just saw it for the first nice. time. And yeah. He talked about how. Good how kind of preparing for that role of shooting the film was all about, you know, he was protecting his family, protecting those girls. Like, so I don't know if he's still feeling the character, uh, the care, you know, all that's like fresh in his mind after being in that kind of frame time frame for a year, you know, whatever. Cause he said some of those things, you know, it's about love protecting your family and this and that, you know, it's cause street dog came out in him and yeah. I mean, that was a little bit of a subliminal measure. That's what I thought. He was just trying to say, I'm protecting mine. Watch what you say from here on out. And everybody had the shots about you you right. know, August and the uh, entanglement <laughs> from last year. And enough is enough. You can only say so much without a person reacting to it. Was yeah. it was it the time and the place to do it? That's the biggest thing. You know, that's debatable. That's <laughs> debatable. <laughs> All right. Hey. Hey, People well, know put some respect on Will's name now. So. Hey, man, that is a legend. Well, that's the other thing. You know, everybody's. Yeah, it's none of our business, like, you know, 
Rock made a joke about some guy's wife. Will got up, smacked him. Yeah. Between those two dudes, like, there it is. I mean, yeah. crack jokes about my He's wife. He's not pressing charges. Off, right? Nothing too crazy. So, I mean, really, all this, you know, all this hot air, everybody in the, you know, everybody talking about it, like, we ain't got yeah. nothing to do with it. It's, you know, it's those, it's a conflict between those two individuals at this point. Like, and it's, you know, it's kind of the end of it. Yeah, it was just on such a public platform with yep. so big stars. It was just wild. It was awesome. Yeah, I didn't. Of course, I didn't see it live. I, of course, I didn't watch it at all live. So I you didn't, did not miss nah. anything. Yeah, I already know. I uh, didn't before I was about to lay down. I'm scrolling on my timeline. It's like, oh, what is this? And that's when yeah. I start sending y'all the link. So yeah, so y'all make sure y'all got it first thing in the so, morning. So are we ruling out that this was not staged? These are million dollar actors. Was this real? Oh yeah. 100% real. I mean, I feel like in the moment, it was real. But could it have been planned? No. That's that's, that's the big The whole award shows, you know. No, nah, I mean, that was real. You could see Will's reaction on his face. And even at, like, after Rock got slapped and he said, you know, after Will yelled at him, keep my wife's name out your mouth, he's like, all right, I will. And then it cut, like, I'm weak. to a pause, and he just looks sweaty and odd-faced and you see Lapita's face in the background. That's the one thing that made it kind of more like, oh, this ain't just staged. Uh, she she made the face that was like, whoa, this is, this is out of the ordinary. Oh, what if the reaction. only people who were on the inside was the two gentlemen involved and the that. crowd really was, you know, didn't know anything. Right, right. But, I mean, you know, that's just tossing this, this right. throwing stuff at the wall just to see if it'll stick. But uh, from what it is, a man's wife got disrespected. That man looked over at his wife. I've seen a lot of people jump to the defense of saying, you know, looking at it from that side. I'm, I'm on the troll side of it. Like, just I'm on just the reaction, how <laughs> right. the Chris, how the, when he got slapped, he said, wow. He was in such disbelief. He yeah. was like, wow. Will Smith just slapped the stuff out of me. I'm like, slapped him hard, too. Yeah, it was stiffy. When he, <laughs> powder? <laughs> Anybody see how hot powder? Right. He was like, <laughs> what, what the five fingers say to the face? Man. You know, yeah, he probably Ali still left in him too. Man, nah, if it was Ali, nah, if it was Ali, it was a jab. (laughs) That's a good movie. Yeah, it is. I haven't thought that one in a while. You know, right, Will's well, a great actor, man. Legend, definitely the legend of my one of my uh, my lifetime. Will Smith's best movie, or your favorite Will Smith movie? Uh, (sighs) All right, I'll go Bad Boys. Bad Boy, (laughs) gotta be Bad Boy. Detective Mike Lowry. Uh, I am I Legend. Robot, or is it Dude, I am Legend. I am I legend. Robot, he do got I, I Robot. I, I Robot. I Robot's awesome. I Am Legend. I Am Legend too. is my favorite Will Smith movie. He could also turn into Hancock, too. Now, don't forget. He was I, he was know, also a superhero. Oh, man. Will Smith was one yeah. of the first black superhero. I know we give Tatala a lot of love, but you know, Will Smith was the first black superhero. Yeah. I'm right. I'm excited <laughs> for Black Adam, man. The Rock. Oh, yeah. That's gonna be dope. Oh yeah, that's kind of predictable too. I'll see. He, I'll see how that go. All right, all yeah. right. Let's keep it. Last with... time we saw the Rock, he was introducing the Rams and Bengals. <laughs> Dude, man, he'll, he'll be president before you know it. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think he wants that job, but he should be. Let's keep it with. But uh, let's keep it with fighting. Oh yeah. Since we got another clip. Let's see. When was another that? Another knockout. Saturday punch. night. Saturday night. Uh, main event: Columbus, Ohio. I wish I was available for that to be in attendance, but I was not. I did watch it live, and it was and it was live. I think our guy Julian Jackson was down there. Yes, he was. Yeah, working. In a quick update, UConn women are beating the NC State Lobos eleven to seven right now. Early on in the fourth qu- first that's a, quarter, that's a, is that a one v one matchup? One or? versus two. This is a uh, eight UConn action. is two. Yep. Okay, yeah, that's right. But now UConn is still UConn. Ooh, yep. <laughs> yeah, them girls, number twelve on that team is. Yeah. Or is it 16? No, well, I'll pull up the roster in a sec. All right, UFC 200 and whatever. Razor blades. Yep. Here we go. And I guarantee he's going to go with that for the second round. Bada bing. That's a great way of, you know. Oh! Ooh! Huge land! Right. Mm. Top of the boat. Top of the boat. Yeah. Putting that 17 Put seconds in the second round. It doesn't do him no justice. The round because I'm the first round he really he really did most of his work towards that last minute and crunch time in the first round. Yeah, I was I gonna think, say you watched it right. Yeah. I was a, what was the first round like? I mean, they was going for blows in the in the first half in the first half of that round, but then uh, my man Razorblades put it on him towards the end. I then he finished him off 
it only took 17 seconds. Like I said, that was a Buffalo Bill type thing. He was on some Patrick Mahomes stuff. What you call Buffalo Bill? What you mean by that? Yeah. <laughs> it only took 17 seconds to knock him out <laughs> in the second round, you know, because it took 13 seconds for uh, Patrick Mahomes to go down there and score. Ah, got you. Got oh, got you. I was thought you were talking you. about, like, actual Buffalo right, Bill. Yeah. Nah, nah, I'm talking about Buffalo Bills. The dude was Buffalo Bills, and uh, <laughs> my man Razor plays was with, with the Chiefs. Which? You talking Mahomes <laughs> magic? Yeah, and put him down. Seconds. 17 seconds in the second round, put that man down. Live in Columbus, Ohio. The man Matt Brown tried to hold it down too. He We're was from Columbus. He was from Columbus, Ohio. And I guarantee he's gonna go. Yeah, like look at the that. Round. I mean, that's a great poke, poke, of, poke. You know. And he gets him right here. With oh! bye, bye. And then he just bye. went ahead and finished the job. Everybody in the thing. Dude, and that <laughs> when he's down there just, and they get going the crazy. elbows going, man. He couldn't get Dude. up. He 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 really went to sleep. Well, like, he went to sleep for a second. <laughs> like man. Oh, One of the other rounds, somebody got choked to get. Man, that was yeah. You see, respect to. I was gonna say, when is, you, like, I'm, I'm not, not really. I think MMA I might fan. now be a fight fan. I really, I'm not because I'm not really into the whole just watching people beat beat each other up type thing. Which one are you going to go more? The regular boxing, heavyweight boxing, you know, featherweight or whatever you may weather. I would uh, prefer Brothers the just straight up MMA. boxing. I prefer boxing, but the MMA fighters is on a whole nother level. I gotta go MMA. Be go for the simple Which, fact of. Yeah, now, I, yeah, boxing, I can get that. Nah, it's more live and entertaining. I'd know, rather watch that. I can't. Yeah. I don't want to see a fight where it's supposed to be a fight and nobody ends in blood. Nobody has black eye, and you go to the scorecards nine times out of ten. <laughs> I didn't pay seventy dollars for somebody to dance around a ring, pretty boy Floyd or not. Can't get in touch. But I mean, I need to see knockout. I need to see blood. So that's why UFC is starting to take off more. Cause not all fights are like Floyd fights. So just don't go see Floyd. <laughs> that's yeah, what you're gonna I get. Mean, you even look at the heavyweight fights now. When you see the Bronx Bomber, and he—I mean, he's—he's he's like the favorite right now when he's fighting. That's my Fury man named Wilder. Like He—he's he, he's a big show. Deontay Wilder. Yeah. Oh, he's the when Bronx he's fighting. Bomber. Yeah, when he's fighting Fury. Yeah, that's good. But it's not too often where you got you know when we say. A, Back in the '90s, when you had Tyson and you uh, know Lennox Lewis, go back to the '80s. You had, yeah, '80s uh, and '70s. Right. That I, the the, the, big, the real. But when you see more, it's definitely not that no more. Two, it's definitely know, not that. A no couple more. of couple heavyweights. So I like more of the UFC because it's give you getting your money square out of them more than yeah, like, and it's quick, fast. Commercial only thirty seconds. They got thirty seconds in between them rounds. All right, but here's right the other it. thing is, so what was it like? I don't know. A few years ago, McGregor and whoever. So it's this big ordeal, like people name. hundred bucks, and the fight lasted like sixteen seconds or something. Yeah, was it Moscow? No, it was you know, which there's been a handful of them throughout the, you know, but so how do you, you know, what do you think about that? You talk about being a fight fan, trying to, you know, I guess the good thing is, I mean, you got think the that card, so there's like ten fights, you know, for the event. Yeah, but if you're going in looking at, I mean, but I guess that's if you're a fight fan, that's. You know what can happen. Like if we're That's not even, the most exciting 15 seconds, I guess you're going to see. You might be disappointed it doesn't go eight rounds or whatever, but if you paid 100 bucks for the event and you only get 20 seconds before a knockout quick, I mean. I mean, if it's a sleep knockout, you sleep. That one right there, that knockout, that, was, that wasn't that was – he was still moving. He was still squirming at the uh, end nah, of it. He, he, I the, need the, to video see cut, nah, the video cut off, he went down. <laughs> I he, need to see smell nah, and salt. Nah, nah, <laughs> nah, yeah, nah. It, it took a while for that man. Bring in the train. You want no, slow motion, it took, Rocky? He needed yeah. help. No, nah, that man needed help up. It wasn't nah, – it was that the, – the video got cut off. But not even going to Conor McGregor. And this – just this that that fight was the main event. Right. So if you was waiting all night for that particular fight exactly. and you think it was going to go to the fifth round, because that one was going, other round was going three, that round was going five, and it only made it 17 seconds in a second. Did you get your money's worth? I mean, you technically wanted to see a knockout from either side. Right. You didn't know the knockout was going to come that fast, but hey, it had that's 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 UFC and boxing. They try to give you your money's worth. So that's why they because they get paid by the round. The money that's why it's all bigger. fixed and rigged. Yeah. So, but in that case, hey man, when you get put down, you get put down. You yeah, fair enough. You gotta you gotta see that hand coming. But he opened up his eye in the first in the first round. I think it just got bad in the, within yeah, 17 seconds. Man. Well, it makes me think but other the, things the like. The uh, leading up to it was dope, too, though. We had the girl, you know, the young, like the eight-year-old girl that's a Golden State Warriors fan, and they had, her and her mom had tried to go see LeBron play, like or Steph Curry play twice. Yeah. And it, it, it was a couple weeks ago, they went to see him in Denver. Curry didn't play that night. So, you know, on a similar note, like, you don't ever go to a game. You want to shell out hundred bucks and go see LeBron or Curry in town? Yeah, and like then tonight, the, they yeah, don't play. The like 
take a night off. I've I mean, done that, man. I, I took my boys to go and see um, the Bucks in Cleveland, and Giannis was there but did not play. <laughs> so you go and see the main event, you see the star, and then he don't show up. It's kind of like definitely around this time that we talk about NBA real quick. You go and see – these players that they're kind of trying to save them for the playoff time a little bit more. Like right. I said, LeBron and AD is not playing tonight, so you never know, man. And that's what you want to see, especially if you're at an NBA game. Like, like I went to a see, uh, right. I want to go see LeBron or go see Curry. I went to a Bulls and Nets game, and but it, my case was a little different. Differently, Kyrie actually got injured the game, the Sunday or like the game, before. literally the game before that, like was a shoulder injury the year, the first year they went there. So I thought I was going to go to a Chicago Bulls game to see you know, Zach Levine and the Bulls versus Kyrie Irving and the Nets, and I seen a whole bunch of backups, and so I ain't really like it like that. But I was there for the Bulls, and the Bulls still lost. But that's beside the point. That's when it was white. <laughs> Here's something that I just saw pop up an hour and a half ago. NFL says all teams must add minority offensive coach. Expands Rooney rule to include women. All 32 teams this season will hire a minority offensive assistant coach. Part of a series of policy enhancements announced Monday to address the league's ongoing diversity issues. The coach can be female or a member of an ethnic or racial minority. Huh. Thoughts? It's another loophole that they could probably get out of. But I mean, does this water it down to where it's not even out of credibility or like this person deserves this job? Now they're just forced to. Forcing it. Yeah, so they're but, just going to throw somebody in there to check the box off this yeah, list, right? Yeah. But isn't that. I where, guess you got to start somewhere. But isn't that where most minority candidates are anyway? Not ne- or is it like strictly so they could get on the offensive side to be able to be a head coach that way? But mostly the minority coaches are always the assistant coaches, whether it's on the offense, defense, or special teams. I mean, and they try the whole point of the Rooney Rule is to get them in the head coach seat. I mean, expanding it that right. way, but, but we, the, we still got like going. we still got people like Eric Bieniemy, offensive head coach, offensive coordinator. For a high volume team and still ain't got no head coaching job, so I mean, how does that? I don't see how that help when we already got people in those that position already. Byron Leftwich, I mean, are we talking OCs? Are we just talking wide receiver coaches, running back coaches, quarterback coaches like that? And expand it to women. Is that just trying to get women in the door? Because now we they, would they be more willing to hire women than a I mean, dare I say a black man? Right. I just hate that it's 2022 and we still got to have the color barrier and still have to show that, oh, let's get this minority group in or right. whatever. Let the qualifications judge for themselves. If you let's fit the just, bill, you fit the yeah, bill. Yeah, you fit the bill, put them in. You see all, like you said, be enemy, left wedge. You can go on the line. My man Marvin Lewis, even though he ain't getting no playoff games, you know, he's still a certified coach. You got a dub in the, in, in, with the Ravens. You certify somewhere, but you got to erase the color line so we can really be able to be more of a unity, more unified country as we say we have a melting pot, but it's still so much of diversity and it's, it shows. So when you put stereotypes or qualifications on these these roles, you know, you, you're still showing your true face. But I guess it's a move in the right direction, but it's still like you're, you know, you're you're forcing it, man. It's a force feeding thing. Let it just happen natural. So appreciate you, Goodell, but <laughs> do you? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I mean, he worked for the NFL. He not necessarily. He just he works for the owners. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. We get a black owner in there, we'll know something different. It's thirty two teams yeah. and not one black owner. So I'm not I'm running. Cool. That's big on race, but the the world is. So. Yeah, right. There's the way. It's just the way it is, especially with a billion-dollar industry like the NFL. The only minority owner I can think of would be Shahid Khan for the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars. Okay, okay. He's made Indian or something like that. He's got kind of a cool story, but he's an engineer that designed the bumper, basically. Hmm. Grew up in the Middle East, moved here, went to college at like Missouri or somewhere in the middle of the states. Got an engin- engineering degree, figured out how to make a bumper, like patent it, bumper on every car, billionaire. So I don't know. Anyway, we'll see how long it takes for. I mean, you said it a coaching assistant. 
Yep. Like, we're not even just it talking just, about a coordinator. We're talking about the assistant to the guy. You this know? could be so, wide receiving assistant coach yeah. or something. We're talking about yeah. a clipboard hold. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I just want to know how does that expand it to getting them in the door for becoming a head coach when the Rooney rule is literally in place for that and they already are not following <laughs> those rules. Right. That's all I'm asking. So and what does this I, I rule guess do? It, it gives hope for guys you, when you look at uh, Eric Spolstra and you see how he got in as a video coordinator. I mean, it's somewhere inside of the building. So you put in the work and show that you're diligent and can show up on time and, you know, you're persistent on making the culture better for right. the team. I guess it's and something. Then, and then they're already employed within the organization and franchise. So the natural progression is to just bring people up when – Jobs become vacated. That's how it is already. I mean, you know, right? You would assume like the enemy to have so many. And we keep saying his name because he's thing. like one of the top. Because he's literally been the one that's been waiting the longest, and like he's from a team on a team that has won a Super Bowl and been to two and been to three straight AFC Championship games and have won the AFC three of the last four years. Four, yeah. The last or four have gone through. The last, the last four have gone through Kansas City. Yeah, outside of this year with you know Joe Burrow. So since we go on the debate of race. And uh, the guy from Miami, uh, Brian Flores, Flores yeah. is the minority leash shorter than anybody else's. Once you get in and actually become an, uh, a head coach, is that leash shorter than the rest of their counterparts? I yeah. think, yeah. I feel like, you know, like just to use an analogy to, uh, <laughs> let's say, marijuana, right? A lot of people use marijuana, right? Some people in workplaces may use it, and uh, there's guys who are able to work under that, and there's guys who aren't r- able to work under that. And those guys, that one guy who's not able to work under that, who m- because he got sloppy, exposes everybody, right. and it hurts everyone for those who are able to work in those conditions. Now, can since the Brian Flores thing has happened, I haven't seen anything but the, you know, the Dolphins have found a loophole with the multiracial coach who's, you know, that counts as, a, like, <laughs> right. loopholes and stuff like that. I haven't really seen anything. There hasn't been much fallout from that moves. or just, yeah. it's like, He hey. blew the whistle too early, and if it's like, I don't like, he just, like, he just looked, and it looked, it just looked bad. It's not that I can't take his side, but I just it looked bad and it might have hurt other people's <laughs> chances, and that's why you got a new rule like this coming out because they feel like it can help. But I just think it's another show. Like, how does this rule help when you already got the closest thing to an OC right, right next to the head coach seat? If you can't with the receiver coach, is going to leap over to – what's the name? I don't know. I guess we'll just have to, you know. I don't know. I guess it's a start. I mean, it's, you know, we got to take – at some point there's got to be some – like it is a good place to start, I guess. At least though, at least minorities, you know, at least a select group will have thirty some odd jobs. I think you got teams I, like the Buccaneers that already followed that rule before it even happened. Exactly. Literally got uh, what's my man's name? What's the head coach? Uh, well, I wonder if every team Bruce already Arians got literally black ethnic. He got black coaches, women, and women on his roster as a uh, on his coaching staff, right. not roster on his coaching staff. So like that rule. For teams like that already been followed. Yeah, that so. So, like, what's the. If it's in your heart, it's in your heart. But it's what these owners really want at the end of the day. Yep. All right, well. I don't know. Here's what it is. So, there's an addition. Anyway, that came through the pipeline. Let's jump over to. Let's talk about some Ohio State hoops real quick. The Ohio State women, man. Also, shout out to the Ohio State women's hockey team, national champions, just a week ago. So the Ohio State ladies have the better athletic program than the boys. Better step it up. So Ohio State women made it to the sweet to the elite. Excuse me, the Sweet Sixteen. They got bounced by Texas. They lost by ten. It was a close game. Ohio State shot poorly, but I've had some excitement. I've enjoyed watching them. Uh, J.C. Sheldon, they got a girl named Braxton Miller, actually, yeah, too. <laughs> I'm like, well, I was thinking, like, well, who names their daughter Braxton? But and yeah. uh, the three, Mike Sell, she can shoot lights out. I think she's the second best three point shooter in the country, or second most made threes per game, and like all D one. 
Mike Self for the Buckeyes. Uh, young squad. I know that J.C. Sheldon, their leading point guard. She's a freshman. So they've got some returners. It was exciting to watch them. You know, women's hoops is still good. Yeah, I'm not. And I'm, then the men. Hey, at least they beat Loyola Chicago. Yeah, a lot had, of people. I had them losing. If yep. I would have finished my bracket or made my bracket, I would have. Oh, update. Willie Ward. Big news update. Will Ward is leading the That's Debatable Tournament Challenge on ESPN. The biggest expected. Punk. Man, I would have I I had this as my final four, too. But are we some? Of course you would have. If we Are we doing, we still on Ohio State? Are we on the whole yeah. March Madness now? Or Yeah, it's all the same. All right. This, all right, make the headline. March Madness. Because right. um, I'm ready to get to this final four. Boo. Man, listen. All right, Ohio so State, so neither Ohio the State team, they got, they got to a certain point, and they didn't perform at that certain point. Before the final four. Kick them out the door. All right, you can, I'll let you run football, away with the So I do not four. ride for the Buckeyes the way I normally would. I do support my hometown team, but I am a fan of the Blue Bloods. I am a Tar Heel, people. Tar Heels, let's go. Big so that's live. the. So there's the thing. March Madness was awesome. The Still opening awesome. weekend was great. The Second weekend was great. Was, all the week, Sweet all the 16 games was, was great. Dude, they had five. Uh, Last they, couple games was blowouts in the. They were in, awful. In, in like Elite Eight. The Elite Eight was seven of. Seven of the games were unders, no upsets. Blue Bloods win. They Villanova kills the good story of Kelvin Sampson in Houston. Yeah. North Carolina blows out St. Petersburg. Can I see that Terrible one coming? That was stupid Kansas game. is stupid Kansas. That was Man, I'm over it. That was a uh, Nova and uh, Nova and Houston was definitely all defense, poor shooting on both sides. Villanova def, uh ranked. And pace 330th in the country. That's what's just like dead last. That's their game, man. Slow yeah. one possession, half court ball. Most of they, most of their shots come in the final 10 seconds of the uh, clock. But they produce. They're efficient. They're one of the most efficient teams in the league. I want in a, in a uh, association. I want to say seventh. If I'm wrong, I might be wrong, but I think it's seventh. Just like I know for a sharp fact, it's 330. But Nova's Nova. St. Peter's was the talk. You know, Coach Shaheen Holloway was he. I like I like it. The story, the the, the Cinderella story. You know, uh, Steph Curry and Davidson was ending the Sweet Sixteen too. It's all good. They made it that far. Oh, they're the first fifteen to make it to the make, make it to the Elite far. Eight. Mm-hmm. But Cinderella stories. You know, sometimes the strike, uh, the clock strikes midnight, and that's what happened against UNC. I feel like Purdue blew it in the first place, and. Kentucky is Kentucky. Sometimes Kyler Perry, he's known for an upset every now and then. Got to love now and again. Love to see Kentucky go down. Yeah, and they—they, they, I thought they had a decent squad this year too. But you know, Kyler Perry is Kyler Perry. But St. Peter's, it was a great story, great run. I like, I like Lee number fifteen. My man E Dirt hooked up. E Dirt number uh, twenty-five with the mustache. Uh, okay, AKA Jackie Moon. He was they was they was out there. Nice run, but. They ran into a team that's hungrier, and we underdogs too. We blue blood or not, we not supposed to be here either. So we can't here. Give you that, man. Why not? I can't give you that. AC. I mean, you want to go off of the seating, but like you said, you blue blood at ACC. New that's coach, you. new era. The boys been playing good. I mean, we awesome. knocked off Duke in, in the regular season. Loved it. Spoiler. So I mean, to to have that type of team. And my man Love is, is leading that team. I mean, you can read off the, the names that, that you know of, but I know Love for sure has been leading that team. And I don't want to – how you say it? Bay, Baycheck or – Baycock. Baycock. Man, those boys is playing hard right now. So, one thing – and I'm, I'm big on conspiracy theory and all that other stuff. Shout out to my man Kyrie, the leader of the conspiracy theory. Man. But uh, <laughs> with, with Coach K going out – and his little speech that he gave at the last game and saying, we're not done yet and all the other stuff, I'm pretty sure you recall. Yeah, you know, they, they feel like they're not done yet. Yeah, but I feel I like they're done. Don't, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> college, college is a little bit different. And it seems yeah. a little bit more, you know, it's actual and factual. But the scripts and narratives always remain to me. But I just I mean, feel like it, it may be a little bit of. I mean, it could no. be. I mean, in a way, if just if the basketball gods let it be, I, in a way, the the best story would be that Coach K's final year ends in the championship, right? 
Okay. D- no, not to me. I'm just saying. I'm t- hypothetically not to me either. I'm a Tar Heel fan, so I wouldn't. So that, right? I'm not rooting for that, but I'm just saying. Out of all the stories that's out there, the one thing this season is Coach K's. You know, uh, mom. Well, right. I mean, for him and all that, yeah, it's a great way to go. It's like Peyton winning the Super Bowl and retiring. Yeah. I mean, yada, yada, you know, Brady doing this, whatever. So, yeah, if exactly. you're a Duke fan, if, you know, college basketball, I guess it's good for the game. a lot game. of Duke fans out there. But the problem Boom. is Duke. the four of the four final four teams, Duke, North Carolina, and Kansas are three of the top four all-time winningest programs yeah. in college basketball history. I so, mean, I mean, I guess that Tar Heels is the team that, of all my favorite it's teams. Just, they're the ones that I see win the most. <laughs> I mean, there's I'm parody. Poor. The first few rounds are great, but now here we are. Oh, great. Villanova's been here two of the last four. North Carolina was one a couple years ago. Like, I want to say whatever. four of the last six, maybe. I mean, so it's one of those, you know, I don't know. Wamp, wamp. I am so less interested. I really wish we'd get to watch an exciting Houston team. Arkansas would have been good. I wanted to see Texas Tech beat Duke. Um, What's happening? You know, but it's not happening. It that, is what that it boy, is. Uh, That's why you got to win, I guess, right? Ban Kiro is a problem, and he's definitely going to be a problem for that in that matchup. We kind of, but he's got his. He's going to have his handful. Whether if he got to guard Baycock or uh, my man Manic. Uh, but the thing about it, this the, this is like. If Ohio State and Michigan faced off in the championship in the playoffs, that like yeah, it's one. It's the Big Ten. It's the game in one of the biggest moments we've never seen UNC Duke before. Why not now? I mean, I can't speak for the other side, Kansas and uh, Nova. Nova coach Jay Wright is one of the best coaches in the league in the, uh, in the country. So yep. that's why they're the most consistent, blue blood or not. And, and Kansas. I mean, Kansas don't always make it this far, but they got one of the best squads in the game, and they're consistent, they're long, they're physical, and they play defense, and they and they have put it on you if you let them. It's, it's, everybody earned it this year. I, the upsets is nice. Like I said, the Cinderella stories, uh, Michigan had their chance. They hung around, couldn't do it. Ohio State hung around, had their chance. They couldn't do it. Houston, uh Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> they tried to fight. It got close. They had a little lead, but, you know, they pulled away and it ended up being a blowout. So, I mean, Nova earned it. Kansas, Miami was a great story, especially when you got Miami and Iowa State, a 10 and 11 facing off in the what, Elite Eight. No, Sweet 16 to make it to the Elite Eight. That, that's dope. But, you know, when they ran into that, that team, it, you know, they got smoked. I All think right. they lost by 14, like 74-60, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> yeah, they ran into right. a buzzsaw. So it is what it is, man. And the final four is the best of the best. The, the, the Cinderella stories are over with, and now we here. We got Coach K, <coughs> we, uh, end of an era versus the beginning of an era in Hubert Davis. And you got Kansas Nova on the other side. That might be that's why that's the first game. It's gonna be might be a snooze fest. <laughs> Long defensive battle again, get it out the way. And Duke, everybody waiting for Duke Carolina, just like if it was football, Ohio State, Michigan. Nah, dude, that's the thing. Kansas will, Kansas averages like 72 points a game. So that'll be the pace. And you know, Nova's going to try to slow it down. Yep. So it's going to be methodical. Whoever, basketball is a game of runs. That's God, what, I hope Kansas loses. Like in the in the. But Car- you'll be a Kansas fan, man. No, see that's like so. For one, I went to Kansas State University, so they're rivals seventy miles away. Right. But even growing up in Western Nebraska, I hated KU. I just <laughs> didn't. I don't know. One of the kids I grew up with, he was a big KU fan. I got on the Arizona wagon when they won with Miles Bibby and Mike Simon in '97. It's just one of those. I don't know. As a kid, it's like, oh, they're a good team, so it's, you know, I don't want anything to do with that. Everybody likes them, so I'm going to be different. All right, so the final way, four. So. Final four is here. Who we got? Who you got? Who you got? Who's who's going to make it to the championship? I think we have another show before the championship, or the next show might be championship night. Right. Oh, it's Monday. Usually, they, right? I believe they are. But Live on TBS. Yep. Man, I hate to go against your boys, man. I think it's uh, all good. NC, they playing real good, but Underdogs. I just think that that pull out Coach the dog K, mask. They want to see Coach K go out on top, so I got to roll with the Dukies. That's what I had in my second bracket, and well, uh, I think Kansas, man. Kansas been playing real good, so I think we're gonna see a Kansas Duke in the finals and let Coach K right off into the sunset for the finals. But we'll see what happens with that one. Who you got, Ryan? 
even though you don't like the blue blood. Right. It? Yeah, I don't want anybody to win. My prediction, <laughs> right, can they all lose? COVID come back. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> game's canceled. Um, hey, COVID's over, man. Who do I think will win? I think Nova beats KU. And Duke beats Carolina. Duke Villanova in the final. Duke probably wins. All right. That's your story, and y'all sticking to it. Yeah. Right. Put it. Book it. That, no alibis. You don't want an alibi? No cop out? All right. Man, of course, I got I got Kansas Dumb. over Nova. I do dislike Nova because of what they did to us in the 2016 championship. <laughs> Heartbreaker. It was just like when I seen uh, Brett Favre throw that interception <laughs> against the Saints. <laughs> That that shot that that boy hit from basically half court was crazy, but we won it the next year. No blue bloods, but I got I definitely got Kansas over UConn. I'm at UConn over Nova. Think about the women. That's why uh, Kansas over Nova. Always you know, long physical. People. Remy Martin came back, and ever since Remy Martin came back, you know I, I like that name anyway. You got the name Remy Martin. You, you're strong. That you're, kid you're bothers me, man. He he's a killer though. He's Let me rephrase kid. that. Anybody in a KU B ball jersey bothers me. Yeah, but since he I, came back on that offense, since he came, since he, let's, let's see who's call calling. <laughs> Am I just oh, nah, on the line. what up, Am I? bro? Uh, let me figure out how I do this real quick. Just a sec. Yeah. So while well, he's figuring that out, yeah, Kansas over Nova and. I do like Mark Williams, but he's going to have his hands full. And I do definitely like ba- Banchero for Duke. Uh, Moore, their, their star, Moore, got hurt. You there? All right, we're talking Final Four. We're talking Final Four. I'm making my picks. We here. We want to hear what you got, Ahmad. Give me one second. So I do like Banchero for Duke, but he ain't going to be able to. He's going to have his hands full, so he, I don't believe he's going to be able to get it done just like in that last moment. In uh, Coach K's final home game, uh, I just think my man, uh, my man, said love will be a problem. Uh, averaging, averaging fifteen points, he put up thirty in a Sweet Sixteen. He closed him out in the, uh, of course, in the Elite Eight to get here. I like R.J. Davis as another ball handler, and of course, we got the bigs. You never know what Manic is going to do. He he could go for fifteen and fifteen. He's stretching the floor and he's dunking on stuff now. And Baycott is just controlling the paint. He's just controlling the paint. Short uh, hybrid center for the college game, and he's a problem. Double double. We got two double doubles at the big, and yeah, they're going to have their hands full. So if it is meant for Duke to win, they're going to have to be locked in all four quarters. Or all two, both halves. Both halves. All, both 20 minutes. <laughs> Taylor, what up, man? Man, guys, good to see you. I appreciate you having me on that debatable. No problem, sure, buddy. man. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, I uh, well, mo- my my bracket for you guys is, is, has been busted since the first round. Yeah, so you took <laughs> Ohio State, I, man. Yeah, I had to, you know, especially for the show. You know, I, I'm a Buckeye guy. I was born and raised here, so I had to pick my team. You know, but, um, you know, I ended up, you know, I'm a, uh, you know, big athlete. So, you know, one bracket's not good enough for me. Uh, I had to I end up making five total brackets. Nice. Um, I do have um, Villanova winning uh, the championship um, against, I think it was Baylor or somebody like, yeah, I had them beating Baylor. Um, yeah, USC which, did that too. So I, I got one team still in it in one bracket. But, uh, you know, on that debatable, man, I got my bracket. And it's busted. Um, uh, but I mean, I still, I would still pick uh, Villanova, you know, right. over, over, over Kansas. And I would, um, honestly, man, I'm going with the, I'm going with UNC Tar Heels. I'm going to go with the Tar Heels. Great pick, I my man. Great after pick. The whole, I mean, I mean, you know, it's that's a, it's a, it's pretty much a Cinderella story. That's how March Madness is. Um, uh, coach, coach, his first year, you know, taking over for uh, Roy, yep. Coach Roy, right? Roy, now. Uh, man, oh, so yeah, that's, man, that's what I got, man. North Carolina is going to win this one over. Uh, it, with, I got North Carolina now beating Villanova in the national championship in a rematch of 2016. I love it, but I got Kansas making it. I would mm. like the rematch though. I would like that rematch so we can smoke them again. You know what I mean? it, it's been a long time, man. I mean, it's good to see Kansas in there because. And I was born in I was born in '93, 
you know. Me so, too. you know, watching basketball, you know, Kansas, they were always there, but just it was always a hit and miss with them. You know, Duke, it was always Duke in North Carolina. Always, always. Yep, I've just seen Carolina win three championships on my watch. In 2017, for like a long time ago, I need a new one. I need a new one. I need something <laughs> to brag about. And my Vikings, <laughs> my Bulls, I can't talk championships. I need, I need, I need my Tar Heels to get this done. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys watch the Ohio State and Texas women's March Madness thing? Actually, I missed that one. Oh, I my God, bro. Oh, man. I'm telling you. The, I mean, I don't like to put the officiating out there, but I'm telling you, man. I, I, I couldn't. I couldn't almost even rewatch. I can't even watch the game. I mean, Texas fouled out in the first in the first half, and they still were able because of the refs how they called the game. When the second half came, it was all Texas ball from there. And the Ohio State was they, the women were playing great. They were yeah. like what shaking their head, like what what's going on? Like we can't move around. They're flopping. Texas was flopping all over the place and calling us all and kinds of. Uh, to them too. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. My grandmother loves the state of Texas. So when I was growing up, I've always had that pride of, you know, everything's bigger in Texas. You know, I, I you know, I love sports, you know, so I never want to, like, bash a team or anything like that, you know, for beating my Buckeyes because I'm an Ohio State fan. I'm not that kind of guy. But, you know, give credit to where credit's due. You know, uh, you know, Texas did win the game, you know, but I just, how the game was played out. I want to rematch the team between them two teams. And, and you know, we'll never have that because the seniors are gone, you know? Right. Yeah, those girls have definitely been balling this year, man, uh, on all facets of each team. When you watch the uh, NCAA right now, you definitely getting the show more than Skills. usual uh, from the girls. The women year. is putting on a show, and they're lighting it up. They're They're shooting from all over. Hey, real quick, Ahmad, I see you've do, been doing real big things, man. Uh, yeah. See you. Uh, congratulations if you got a new job promotion coming up pretty soon or got a job coming up. Yeah, man. God, God just keeps blessing me, man. Um, so, uh, you know, after, you know, being with you guys here on Score on Air, uh, you know, shout yeah, out to Go ahead. To, shout know, out to Score, OMS, man. Uh, plug plug yeah. Score on Air real quick. Yeah, score on air, man. It, it's a great, it's a great, it's a great thing, man. It changed my whole life. Uh, just getting, you know, involved in the sports, um, and, and they, you know, they call it network. I call it relationships, you know, because it's just absolutely amazing to get to be, you know, with the with the youth programs, and uh, even um, I got to meet some semi pro guys, you know, throughout the the, the course of the time, and um, I ended up already getting a. Uh, uh, motel and everything paid for to go to Indianapolis to do an event and in and, and Dayton. But I um, recently just got hired with a handful of companies, uh, Baller TV, um, TKDS. Um, man, it's just a huge blessing. I got uh, the Toyota Downs racetrack position. Um, I'm excited about that one. Uh, the big one that I just got, man, today that um, I haven't even broke over uh, Facebook yet to even tell you guys. Making news right I here just, on Destiny. Yeah, Bay. right here. Yeah, wee, 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 wee. You know, uh, I got a uh, a position that I uh, just, they just texted me saying they're writing up my uh, contract now, uh, Encore Global. Um, it's a company that does digital marketing and design and you know they do uh they host events through the uh, marriott in the hilton downtown um they do it all over the country 20 plus different countries um you know encore man it's great you know they you know as a uh, broadcaster and somebody that loves digital digital marketing and design i get to go live my dream and i mean you know when you're thinking about it you like what about the benefits like i mean you got to think about that i got a family you know, I got, you know, two boys I got to take care of and they offer be uh, health benefits and and uh, everything like that, you know, so it's, it's great. They even said they just got a new thing going to where uh, anything, anything, any event that I'm working that lasts longer than eight hours, I'll be, I'll be paid overtime for that. So I'm like, oh man, God, God is working. You know, God is really working, you know, so, you know, I, I appreciate you guys, you know, for letting me call in. Uh, and, you know, helping me through my journey for sure. 
you know, hey, and then when I travel, hey, I'm taking you guys with me too. So get ready sure, to travel. We all going. Bro. Hey, congratulations on that, man. It's good to see you uh, prospering. And like I always say, we chopped it up a little bit back in August, and you know how that conversation went. But, hey, to see the dreams continue to manifest, man, just continue to stay motivated and continue to do what you're doing. And, hey, shout-out to the school on there and Ohio Media School where you can learn from a pro to be a pro. Yes, sir. Yeah, man, I appreciate you guys, man. Hey, uh, and I guess, hey, go Tar Heel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Hills Nation, we live. Thanks, bro. Yes, sir. Man, Amad Taylor. Yeah, them Tar Heels gonna go crazy. One of them games next this weekend. Coming up this weekend, April second. Yup. Day after April Fools. Who's gonna be the fool? Is it gonna be Coach K? Is it gonna be your guy? No, man. Like I, we just know it's going to be one heck of a game. So March Madness has already came in, and you've seen a, a lot of upsets. I mean, how how you guys feel about all the upsets that was that was seen? Oh, and dude, love this it, wasn't, man. This wasn't your average, you know, two against 15, 15 prevail. So. No, nope. and there was, you know, there's a little bit of chalk. Michigan came in rolling hard as a playing team. Yep. You know, they advanced to the Sweet 16. Is cool for them, I guess, if you're Michigan. But they took care of Tennessee. I was very surprised to see Michigan take out Tennessee. Uh, Richmond, 12th seat over Iowa was a big one. I had Iowa in most of my Final Four, so Iowa going down. That's always good for me. I liked Wisconsin as well. So speaking of the Big Ten, we was talking about laying eggs, man. Oh, yeah. And I'd said it on this show a few times when we talk about the Big Ten. Big Ten's best team, best conference in the country, deep. Blah, blah, blah. I was not right about that. Man, oh, the guy, what's of, the big homie from Illinois? The real big guy. Coburn. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Coburn. And I kept, I don't know why I rely on him and think that just because he's in the game that they're going to have a far run, but I had them going pretty far, I think, to at least the Elite Eight. Man. I believed in Purdue, too. They didn't they play their, they didn't yep. play, St. Peter's was, you know, the, one of the biggest, the, the story, the story of the tournament as far as Cinderella. Uh, and upsets, so a lot of people's rooting for the uh, Jersey City team, and also like they arena name Run Baby Run Arena. That's hard, <laughs> dude. And but. I, <laughs> so I looked into. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, for those of you out there that don't know why it's called Run Baby Run Arena, I was wondering what that is. They don't have a corporate sponsorship. One of their old alumni from like 1968, Ted T.K. Williams or something, big business guy now, donated like five million dollars towards the athletic fund so they built this new basketball court volleyball and he was an alumni for one of like their best basketball programs in 1968 and they made a run deep in the tourney and they had kind of the five slam a jamma run and gun full speed offense and so their team was nicknamed run baby run and so when they brought in this new stadium they kind of did a fan poll which we call it which we name it so they kind of tied it back to one of their best basketball teams ever in Run Baby Run. So I thought that was kind of a neat little. I like that it's not Little Caesars Palace or some yeah, BS yeah, yeah. corporate yada yada Run it's Baby Run Arena. Yeah, if, right. Yeah. Hey, so I thought that was kind of cool. Everything. And I mean, it's a gym of like they got an enrollment of like, three thousand. If that, I think that it was really gym. So. That gym but, looked like. You know, Pickerington or Centerville, after, like, yeah, and it was packed going crazy yep. after they beat. Uh, so that's cool, Kentucky, and uh, definitely when they beat Purdue. But I mean, that's their story. I think to speak on the Big Ten, yeah, Purdue didn't play like themselves. I felt like if they were to play through their guards and the, my guy, who I've been talking about all season, Jaden right. Ivy. Well, when it's when it's been brought up, I've been talking about Jaden <laughs> Ivy. Yeah, you know, that's why I like. That's why I was kind of endorsing Purdue until I thought they was going to lose to you know my Tar Heels, but they didn't even get to make it there. I thought that would have been a better matchup than you know the run baby run people because they ran baby ran out that arena. Sorry, we, you know, dude, we, National Peacock Day though. Yeah, nah, the, uh, <laughs> that pumpkin turned back into a uh, that 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 chariot turned. Back into a pumpkin and that horse turned back into a mouse that night. First fifteen ever and then but right talking in the about the eight. upsets, my upset of every a lot of people had Gonzaga winning this whole thing. Yep. And Arkansas beating them. No, they didn't do they now Duke Ar, Ar, you know, Duke came out and put it on them. That's that's what it is what it is. But as far as Arkansas get Gonzaga, no, Arkansas came out strong, finished strong, Dude, yeah. and Gonzaga choked. Yep. Juzu. Yeah, that's uh yeah, that's one right there. I liked Iowa State. Yeah, I mean, I you know, 
Not a big Iowa State oh, fan. Wisconsin. But they made a couple teams. I liked Wisconsin. Big 12 turned around, and Big 12 you proved know, that they on are. On that same side, because they, they ended up losing to uh, Miami, Miami and Auburn. That Miami Auburn game, was I liked that game, too. That I was a good game. That. that was a good game. And Miami had a nice little run. They just they didn't have enough for Kansas. <laughs> not, oh, not even close. Dude, man. Yeah, that no, was not gross. even close. Yeah, not and even that's close. Where, yeah, that's where you start to see. That's, you, start, you start to see why. Yeah. Who's who. Yep. Yeah, all the fairy tales. Exactly. All the fairy tales end it, man. Exactly. But, yeah. Um, like, everybody turned back. Yeah, I mean, UCLA, North Carolina was, you know, I was hoping for a little bit better game out of that one. Tar Heels kind of turned it on late and just stretched away. But My boy, love went for 30. Dude. A lot of, most of that came in the second half. I want to say 23 right. in the second half. Here's what else what I pulled up for your matchup predictor. You know, the ESPN matchup predictor. Tar Heels, Blue Devils. Blue Devils are a 68% chance to win, according to the ESPN's Basketball Power Index, whatever that means, blah, blah, blah. Baycott is averaging 16 and 13, and Boncaro is averaging 17 and 8. Both teams. Hands full. North Carolina, 78 points a game. Duke, 80 points a game. And we got three both, players that can and explode. Both lot, their last loss was to Virginia Tech, both teams. So. Yep. The thing so about it is eighty to eighty. Hopeful. That's why I want to see. Got I want to see a hundred and sixty point blow game in, in the in these tournaments. Now, Ben Kiro, like I said, Ben Kiro, he got his. He gonna have his hands full with Manic and Baycott. Is what can they guards do? Well, and, that's Duke's more, got five guys got, that average double digits. But more one is their best uh, guard, I believe, and he got hurt at the end of the game. And he's his X rays is negative, but Dude, he might that, not be able to play. That is right. I. So and I wasn't with RJ watching Davis that, but I and heard uh, Love controlling that backcourt. Was it Cameron Love? Caleb. Caleb Love. Yeah, yeah. I said said Love earlier. <laughs> I mean, that's my big homie. That's right. I forgot about more getting hurt. I was listening. I think yeah. I was coming back from the gym and I heard him talking about maybe a busted Achilles. But there's just now, a couple stats come back for you. Negative, though. Seventy North Carolina seventy points a game. Duke eighty points a game. They both allow sixty five and sixty nine. I think we both shoot at a pretty good clip, forty-five and forty-nine the respectively. Offensive rebounds. We're one of the. We've been often. We had over 20, like twenty offense. I don't rebounds. see that's, a breakdown, but North Carolina. That's that's really how we've been. That's how we came back and just demolished. They've been uh, dominating, and then we dominated the boards yep. against. Uh, Baycock was like number three, Saint all Peter's. Times. Okay. Yeah, uh, in, in, in UNC. history for what he averaged. So yeah, like I said, I mean, he's Churro's averaging gonna, thirteen boards Man a Kiro. game. <laughs> I said Chiro. <laughs> Man Kiro's gonna have his hands full, and that's their best player. And with more hurt, R.J. Davis and uh, R.J. Davis and um, my man Love is gonna eat. Not then, like I said, we got Baycock and uh, and Manic going crazy, and can't sleep on Manic because he's stretching the floor out yeah, there yep. looking like uh, dirt. All right, Nova. Villanova Wildcats, Kansas Jayhawks, a little bit closer matchup. 51% ESPN's matchup predictor. Definitely going to be a little bit tighter game. Defensive game. Jayhawks athletes so outrun the ball, run and go. Villanova, man, they will just dissect you. The like I said, best shooting free, pace in the country. The best shooting free throw team in D1 history if they yep. can finish at 82 and whatever. And that's what it comes down to, man. All of these games get decided by free throws. A lot of them do. Free throws, second chance points. That's it, man. A lot of the teams who have been losing have been turning the ball over a lot. That's how Purdue lost. They actually turned yep. the ball over a lot. First half and second half. And that's how the Iowa State women lost. They had, I think, 7, 18, 20 turnovers, something like that. Notre Dame lost the game on a turnover. Big steal. Dude, yep. Oh, I should have pulled, pulled that clip, too. Women. That that was the cleanest steal in history. <sighs> All right. 8 o'clock, top of the hour. All right. We'll send you to a quick commercial break. And we can get in a quick NFL. And we'll be right Stay back. In. NFL, NBA, Idiot. bada bing. Should not be stretching live on air. My bad, guys. Uh, hey, Tom, stretch it out. Beta. Like Tony Soprano, bada bing. We'll be right back. If you've ever dreamed of a career in the sports production industry, your dream could come true. The Ohio Media School is enrolling their next sports emphasis class soon. You'll learn about all the different aspects of what goes into the broadcast that you watch or listen to. Go from behind the scenes to the front of the camera. You'll also get hands-on opportunities to practice your skills through the Score On Air Network. Call the Ohio Media School at 614-655-5250 or visit beonair.com slash columbus. In sports, 
You want to have a player that can get the job done right every time. A real all-star. Somebody that's dependable and you can turn to when the game is tough. That player in the audio video industry is the Peter. From setting up your home's Wi-Fi network and offices, conference rooms, to setting up home theater inside or outside, to setting up the systems to make your home run smarter and safer as well. The theater people can do it all with the quality of professionalism you can expect every single time. That isn't just a great all-around player. That is an all-star. That is why we are the leaders in audiovisual installation in Central Ohio. So call us at 614-604-6327. Or check out our website at ttpcolumbus.com to figure out which products will fit you. And don't forget, Amplify your personality with the theater. All right, now we back. We back. Right. What's up, fam? What up, Julian? We saw you jump in here. What's happening? Call in, Jackson. Phone's you know open. You been, man. Phone's open. Numbers in working. there. Yeah, yeah. Check the that. chat. Go yeah, back through. Find a number, man. man. Shout out him. Appreciate Let's you hear watching, from bro. Me, Jackson. Most importantly, right. I want somebody to call in and tell me why the Oakland Raiders are going to win the NFC West or the AFC West. Excuse me. Ooh. Well, <laughs> Oakland can't win, but Vegas might. Ah, oh, there you go. Thank Got you. Him once again. I'm still doing that. It's been yeah, man, what? Yeah, That's too. exactly why they won't win. Seven I months. San Diego, who's in Los Angeles. And it's also the same division. <laughs> <laughs> and if Whatever, coach, dude. And if they coach don't take the points, they're gonna mi- they're gonna miss out on a division title. The last time Derek Carr was like MVP front runner, he, got he had Amari Cooper and Michael Crabtree. Now he's got Devontae, Darren Waller, and Hunter Renfro. Yep. Look out, kids. And, and a defense. I like Josh Jacobs. And he's got a defense. So they're going to take over for the oh, yeah. Kansas City Chiefs? I'm definitely not for oh, yeah. that. I'm not for that move at all, though. I mean, not the move. I'm definitely for the Devontae Adams moves. Get him up out my NFC North. <laughs> I'm sure you are. But I'm not talking about the North right now until we get to the Z- Zadarius Smith. But um, I don't – I'm not – I don't – no, the Raiders are still competing for third place in the division. Uh. They moves their moves is nice. I mean, it's Denver's. For me, it feels like a Denver. It, it feels like it feels like Denver, like LA. That. Denver, LA will be leading. Bing bong, something from Miami. Spam caller. Oh man, what's man. All good. right, what's up, Hello? caller? Hello. Yo, this is Jamar Max. Chef, what up? What's up? Yo, yo. Hey, you called in right on time. We talking about the AFC West, man. Oh, ain't this the, the Chiefs fan? You always be throwing yeah. shots at. <laughs> Yeah, I know the Chiefs. All right, so yeah, I think the yeah, the the in the AFC West, no, the Raiders aren't going to win it. Uh, it's going to be between the Chargers and the Broncos, and if Staley could take the points or not, that's what's going to come down to. It. Hello, yo, we in, man. Got us. You hear us? Yo, I think there's more than one person on the line. Yeah, yeah. you live on air. There's three people in here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to live TV. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> I was like, yo. <laughs> so what do you think, man? We talking about the AFC West, talking about your boys, talking about the Raiders, uh, the new First Denver, all, Denver Broncos with wait. Russell Wilson. What do you think, man? The Chargers with the defense. Yeah. Raiders, garbage. <laughs> Trash. Raiders, garbage. Broncos, garbage. All about the Chiefs. All about the Chiefs. All well, about the Chiefs. Well, since it's all about the Chiefs, what you really think about this Tyreek Hill train and how will it help your team? I did not you... I'm look, okay, look, let's talk about my team first. All right. Yeah, I need a yeah, Chiefs fan. So, yes. Yeah. Chiefs, I'm mad. Look, I saw I talked to Will. That I don't care that Tyreek, I'm not, yeah. So I'm glad that Tyreek is kind of gone because we can open up the field more. Because believe it or not, Kansas City was, I can say this, was a one trick pointing. So it was either Travis Kelsey or it was either Travis Kelsey or it was either Tyreek Hill. 
But now that he's gone, we can spread the field. That sounds like a lot of optimism. It's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> To who, man? Who you <laughs> like, going to? like, are you are you selling this stock to me right now? Because if truth. it is, I'm not buying it. <laughs> it's the truth. It's the truth. Like, okay, look, we picked we picked up Juju. Trash. We picked up TikTok. We picked up Val- Run, uh, Corvette. Corvette. <laughs> That's what you're talking about. <laughs> no, nah, no, my team. I know my team. I know my team. Hey, as a Minnesota Me. Vikings fan, uh, picking up Valdez Scantling, it was not a come up. Look, for so look, when you got Patrick Mahomes as a quarterback, it yeah. doesn't matter what receiver it is, it's a come up. I mean, but he's left Aaron Rodgers. And look, as long as you got Patrick Mahomes, everything, everything is good. Everything is good. Hey, he's speaking like a real Chiefs fan. Man, hey, we don't, we don't call it Chiefs. They need to change. It. We need to change the Chiefs Stadium from Arrowhead to AT and T because we all got your number, man. That's all we know. AT and T right now, the Chiefs. We, we ain't, no, ain't nothing worried about in KC, man. Well, well, you already know, man. Cincinnati don't want no more smoke from 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 KC, bro. Did it two times in a row. Man, I don't think that no Cincinnati's smoke, afraid of Kansas City. Right, but why, so why do you think? Work. Hold, don't 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 make it about Chief Cincinnati right now. Cincinnati is not the topic. We going why 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 do you think that the moves that the Broncos and Chargers made aren't enough for them to take over the West? You still need okay. I'll Russell take quarterback. Russell Russell is done. Russell is done. I don't. Russell's done. Wow. Hey, radio listeners can't see my face right now, but wow. Okay, come on. All right, all right, all right. I'll give you that. Come on. What, what, what else you got? Well, all right, Russell. Okay, look, Russell, Russell is done. The Broncos don't have no weapons for him. What kind of weapons do the Broncos have for, for Russell? Jared Judy. Judy. We ain't going to talk about Judy. Jared Judy. Uh, he was talking about Tim Patrick. And- Tim Patrick, KJ Hamler, and then... Two running backs, Williams and garbage. If they was that good, garbage. Two thousand yards. If they was that good, they would have went to the playoffs. If they was that good, quarterback to be able to make it to the playoffs. They were one. They were one loss away from the playoffs with Teddy Bridgewater and Drew Locke, my man. In the in one of the toughest divisions in football. There is no way. There is no way that the Broncos or the Raiders are going to be able to compete. With Kansas City. What about the Chargers? They were able to compete. If the coach would have took the points, they would have smoked y'all both times, and they could have possibly won the West. The Chargers got Khalil Mack. You got Khalil Mack coming off the edge and Nick Bosa. And J.C. Jackson. Locking up. Yeah. I mean, he ain't even got a lock up Tyreek Hill, so I'm pretty sure he going to have Corvette Corvette in a a boot that day. Look, this is... Like, come on, man. Juju ain't caught a pass. He ain't had over a 1,000 yards since A.B. last played in Pittsburgh. Valdez Scantling is a third option. It's going to be a lot of Travis Kelsey. Y'all don't have a run game. You with Clyde Edward Alaire. I'm going to tell you guys, like I told Will, everybody everybody is forgetting about Josh Gordon. I know you guys are going to start laughing, but listen. You guys are forgetting about Josh Gordon. He's I'm telling you, oh my God, bro. right now. It ain't enough strong. Bro, ain't ain't enough weed in the planet to get me to believe that. <laughs> I can't get high enough to agree to that take, bro. <laughs> like there's, it, no matter how many drug tests you gonna give me, I won't pass it, fam. <laughs> like this, <laughs> do you get these analogies? Like, do you understand what I'm saying here? <laughs> like, how many? T- I love Josh Gordon, but this is not 2013. The Flash ain't been the Flash since we called him Dwayne Wade. Look, oh, all the look, when the season starts, when the season starts. All of you guys are going to be eating your word. Guaranteed. Child, please. The, don't, the, 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 the <laughs> Patrick Mahomes, Mr. September, he blipped it up in September. Y'all, y'all got, it was slow. Like, if, and if it wasn't for, like, Brandon Staley, like, this, I don't, okay, I want you to take 
take your mind off of the fact that you love your Chiefs and understand that y'all got some competition in y'all no, in your division. No, we don't. Like you gotta re- you gotta tip your hat to the moves that these teams made in that division, bro. And they made these moves to defeat your team. I will give you that. But the Broncos, Russell Wilson, they, he didn't waive that no trade clause. For no reason. The Broncos was all we always thought it was gonna be Aaron Rodgers. It wasn't Rodgers, it was Wilson. Rodgers was scared. He wanted he just took the money. He didn't want to make that leap. But we ain't gonna get into Rodgers. That and the the Chargers literally balked up the defense and they said, We got two more years before we gotta pay Herbert. And you know, Herbert gonna want that bag, and he's gonna get mm-hmm. that bag because it's well deserved. But the Chargers and the Broncos made moves to not only win that division, but to compete. In that conference And then in that conference You got all the young guns I think you got Wild well, AFC West You got the AFC North Burrow and them Is coming back Lamar Jackson Is still hungry And don't forget Deshaun Watson Will be available Now What the uh, who, Whoa, what, what, okay, Pittsburgh, now. what Pittsburgh do We ain't worried about that But they defense Is still they defense And I'm, I'm really I know they signed Mitch Trubisky But I'm rooting for uh, I'm still rooting for My man Haskins I feel like once he get a chance he going to pop. I'm just waiting on it. Now you hear it right here on Destiny. And, of course, the first. Bills. And you Baker got, Mayfield going over to, to the Steelers. Uh, that's not happening at all. So. Nah, nah he's Baker, Baker down is right done. Here right now. Mm-mm. Baker's done. Baker's done. Don't he's even not done, but he's just not going to end the division. No way. Watch it, man. Unless he's they're releasing. But they don't, if they're releasing, they got to pay that 18 mil to him still versus they trading him. Or if Deshaun wants to suspend it, will they play it? Like, like will, will Baker try to just audition for a trade? If Deshaun, Broncos, Raiders, hey man, he, Broncos, he, he, Raiders, he all these answers. people, yeah, nah, Broncos, Raiders, all these people got to prove that they can be able to 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 beat us. Right now, he's like these these fools is on paper, but the Kansas City Chiefs proved that they can beat anybody. Were y'all in the time. Super? Did, did, did y'all watch the Super Bowl? No, but that was the, the Rams. Versus the Chiefs have won the AFC West six years in a row, is what he's talking exactly. about. And you're right, the Chiefs, so, Chiefs have got the proof. Chiefs have won their division six times in a row. They've gone the AFC Championship game has been in Arrowhead for the last four years. So yes, the Broncos and Russ Wilson have got a lot to prove. As do the Chargers. As do especially the Raiders coming off their Raiders. season. But we the Broncos almost making the playoffs and getting Russ Wilson. Book it. Denver that's Broncos just, will win the, the AFC West. 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 That's entire, what we're talking about, the AFC West. I, 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 I think I if think. Staley get his head together, it might be the Chargers. But I do like the Broncos as well. My brother, if, when my brother hear that, he going to be like, hey, whatever. My brother's a Broncos. <laughs> my big brother's a Broncos fan. My older, my oldest brother and my goddad are Raiders fans. So it's, it's just, yeah, that division is going to be wild. And but, for the record, I am not a Broncos fan, even remotely. Even though, <laughs> even though he has ties to that, that, that area. But... Not just that's just the West, man. The Bengals, the Bengals aren't afraid of the Chiefs. Lamar Jackson no got way. over that before the b- before before the Ravens officially got hurt. Lamar Jackson got over that hump, and before the coach and then blew that thirteen seconds. Josh Allen's not afraid. So even if you could make it back through the West, it's other teams are still out for blood. And Josh Allen and them, who I feel like is going to be AFC favorites, no matter who, no matter what the Browns, anybody else did or done. I think that the Bills are still going to be that team to beat coming out the AFC next year as far as uh, betting favorites the Bills, starting the, Bills, the season. Yeah, the Bills is good, but the Bills, to me, still haven't proved themselves. Because I think, they, they, they always – because, listen, because they always make it to the playoffs or whatever, but they, like, to me, they're like choke artists. They, like, back in the Bills 94. You know, they, they, they make it to the playoffs. They make it to the big game and stuff, but they, they can't get past that whatsoever. They're on that. But did – okay – I did the bit. My man Josh Allen yeah. did everything he was supposed to do to get that dub. The defense, but did not. It don't. Play it doesn't calling. matter. Did he? Did he get that? Did he get that W? That is. That is like the team. What did my man? But Tur- is it, what did my man? Tur- get, he gets zero blame. A win's a win. Like you got to yeah. get that dub. You got to get that. You can You got to make it, better it, plays it, in the last thirteen seconds. A squib kick and play well, man coach, and cover the deep ball. That's all you do. It's a coach. It's a coach. Right. The coaches, yeah, I'll give that. The coaches choke. I think the Bills offense, Josh Allen did what they thought they had that game one after you watched that touchdown. After yeah, that yeah, uh for sure. After that two point conversion, they thought they had that game one. Yeah. They wasn't supposed to blow that game. So I'm just saying that they're not afraid of the Chiefs is my point. And we already nah, know the Bengals eat the, the Bengals is. eat the Chiefs up. The Bengals the, the Bengals is hungry. The 
Bengals got lucky. The Bengals ain't making it. They the did not get luck. No, no, ain't right no now. luck. Ain't no. I'm not even the Bengals. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not pro Bengals. I'm not a Bengals fan. Oh, chef. I'm, hold, I got you, I got you. But the Bengals didn't get lucky. They showed up on that field twice and beat y'all. They showed up on that field twice and beat y'all at their crib and in y'all's crib. So you gotta, you gotta tip your hat. You gotta tip your hat. You don't want to do that because that's your man's team. So it's a, it's a budding rivalry. But you gotta tip your hat to that, bro. They did what they had to do and they got it done. Y'all, speaking of choking, y'all choke. Patrick Mahomes choke. Andy Reid choke. The defense choke. Our defense, I'll be the first person to ask, ask Will, I'll call him Slick. You're the only him, team that not the, sack I'm Burrow. The, I'm, the first one, I'm the first one to say our defense is garbage. And <laughs> I was talking to Will today about this. I said, we need to do something with this defense. We are losing players, you know, like crazy, left to right, you know, with free agency and people when signing them. I said, we need, we, we, need to, we need to get a defense. There ain't even no question about it. I'm not worried about the offense. It's the defense. Tell I'm not worried Matthew's about the still offense. still the free agent. Yeah, yeah, but I think Honey they're still him, out though. there, man. Nah, I, I think they're resigning him, though. I think they're resigning. I think it's been so it's long. Just, if I was on, I wouldn't go back. <laughs> Y'all was supposed to see, take care of me okay. at the gate. See, look, see, now that you said that, this is where a conversation came up with me and Will had earlier to where it was like, do you chase the ring or do you chase that money? Because in my eyes, that if you have a team that you know is doing good and you want to see, like, a legacy – why would you do that? I would want to chase the ring. I want to chase the legacy. I said the money's going to come. The money's going to come through anything, endorsements, all kind of stuff. For so if you're Tyron, you speaking if you're Tyron Matthew, right? Right. Yes. Yeah. yeah. If I'm Tyron or Matthew, I would chase the legacy because he has a potential to make it to the Hall of Fame. He has a Hall of Fame case, but another ring will really help that. Yeah. If I'm chasing the ring, I'm not resigning with the Chiefs anyway. I'm going to the Broncos. Or I'm going to the Rams, or I'm going to the Buccaneers. You said Seattle. Not chasing, mm. not chasing mm. rings, but at that, like I wouldn't resign with the team. If I've I'll never with the Bills, if I'm really him. if I've never, we it's hard to guess. It's hard to speak on what's somebody signing a ten million dollar contract. You know? Yeah. Right. Mm. I think not. Nah, I would. I would tell them that if it was me. I would stick with my – if it was me personally, I would just stick with my team, and I would chase to be, you know, pretty much the man, the legend, you know, in KC. You know what I'm saying? Because I told Will it was just like Tom Brady was with the Patriots for all them years, but he didn't really get paid like he was supposed to because he, in his mind, he wanted to chase the ring, and he wanted that legacy. He wasn't thinking about no money or anything like that because he knew money was going to come. You got endorsements. You have all of these things. Right. So, like, why would you do that? Why would you break up a team? Like, like I told Will, I said Cincinnati, they got a squad over there right now. And I said for any for any of them to leave right now would be stupid because they are building something that could be great. And for people just to go and chase a fucking, excuse my language, to, like, chase a dollar, you know what I'm saying, instead of, like, chasing to Me. be the baddest team in the NFL. Mark that down. Sign. <laughs> No, I'm just oh, man. <laughs> yeah, you chasing a bag, man. You got nine times out of ten a player. He's he's not gonna sit there and wait for a team to build around him. He's gonna chase that bag more than likely. You see how Von Bell or you know Von, Von Miller, Miller. He's Von Miller, Von around, Miller, yeah. But you know, he went he to a championship him. scenario. Like the Bills is a real contender and he also chased the bag. They 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 gave him the bag. <laughs> Another thing yeah. that goes into this twenty million. A guy doesn't know where he's gonna get money from, so you're chasing a bag. But you can't go like make an offer from a certain team that doesn't have salary cap, yada yada yada. So when you do make that decision to leave your organization, like you're leaving the Chiefs, you would like to go to the Bills, to the Rams, the, to the Bucks. The Bills. But you don't have any say over who's going to try and make a trade for you, who's going to try and sign you out of free agency. So when you're chasing that money, you have no clue where you're ending up. Because you have no say in it, got a high you stop. don't have a lot of say in it, kind of essentially. So that's that gamble. If you're a player, leaving a quality franchise, chasing rings to chase the bag like for somebody, you like don't know where you're going to go. Bobby Wagner, he's trying to ask for yep. eleven million, and he also the Rams really want him, but they don't want. They're not willing to pay him one year eleven million dollars. They want him to try to take less to have that chance. He's trying to get the bag, but he's also trying to. That's a championship a situation. Do you take less to go there because he could be a a huge piece to, for a team that's trying to repeat or 
do you go chase the bag and go sign somewhere like Miami who could give you some money and they made some moves? But come on, man. We, Miami is only trying to see what Tua could do. That's what all of those moves was for. That was just an example. You moved, you moved, you moved to Miami with a, a sorry quarterback. And and whatever his dang and name is. I can't is. say sorry. He's not like he's not the worst of the worst. But nah, he's not. Baker Mayfield is the worst of the worst. No, he's not. That, but, he's not the worst of the worst <laughs> either, man. That's <laughs> he's off. Yeah, you got, you Yo, got plenty of quarterbacks sure. out there. That's 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 like you know, dog. As my son would say, dog water. But if you're going from Patrick Mahomes to Tua, we all know the kind of dropout and talent yeah, now there that's is. A drop there. off. Sure. And Tua, exactly. he's got a lot of question marks. There is more to be revealed, as it were. He's going to get a lot of help. Mike McDaniel's be out of it. I mean, of speed, Tua is speed. getting a situation, a nice situation set up for him. Asked for. He the one who really got blind for us about it. Cause God, it, look how much speed is on that field between. And they're trying to recreate that Al, the, the Alabama team that he had. He had all that speed, yeah. just like Mac Jones did. Yeah, but if you don't got a quarterback, so they're trying. They're field. really competing for second, in, like with New England to win the a, to be in the AFC East to possibly get a seventh spot. But I feel like the AFC West and the AFC North is going to have a lot of playoff spots on lock. So that seventh spot ain't up for grabs, but that's what a lot of teams are really fighting for because that West and North is really just like that. <laughs> Your answer, Chef. Yeah, okay, the two teams, Cincinnati and the Bills, those are the only teams I see giving Chiefs a problem. Well, Baltimore is what's named healthy, but other than that, I don't know like, if you're being 100% I, I think, honest, I, I think, Chef. No, I am. You, Will, he you know me. I am being 100% honest. Nah, I'm being 100. I'm, I'm returning my meal, man. I need I need you to read. I need you to put some more uh, seasoning in it and really and really let it let it sit and marinate. Cause put that splat on it. I need you to yeah yeah little, yeah again to my radio listeners. You can't see what I'm doing, but you know you put a little bit of yeah man. It's it's just like because of what the Chargers and Chiefs. I mean, with the Chargers and what the Broncos did, man, you should be worried. <laughs> you should be worried. Don't just you can't if you sleep on them, you're gonna wake up dead. The only thing I say that we just wait, we just we just gotta wait and see. We we just gotta wait and see. You know what I'm saying for the season to come, and then that's where everything ready can come out like. All right, but appreciate you, Chef out. man. But look, I appreciate all you guys. Uh, Slick, you know my brother, been friends with you for since middle school, high school. You know what I'm saying. So you guys, you guys, you guys keep doing your thing, man. Will, I'm proud of you, bro. Make sure you like and subscribe to the That's Debatable YouTube page, though. He's uh, you can see Will Ward Absolutely. on there a lot too. Absolutely. absolutely. All platforms. Appreciate you, bro. All right, brothers. Y'all know Yep, yep. Now, that was a lot of the AFC talk. You know, this, we now AFC North, buddy. How you feeling about your North? Hey, man. We didn't we didn't. Deal Y'all went all in on the line. Y'all went yeah. all in on the line. AFC's going to be tough. All right. Let's, yeah, real quick. AFC North. What do you think about Deshaun? I, mean, I like D. Watt and, and Cleveland, man. But at the same time, it's who we going to throw it to. And Joku, we know he got him. They he let go. Healthy. Amari. Amari Cooper. Amari. They got Amari, but they still got Njoku to tight end. They're trying to bring Jarvis right, back. He got to stay healthy. That, that's always the name of the game. And Jarvis, they just released him. And I've been hearing through the grapevine, market down here, Odell may be swinging back around that way. Yep. Yeah, but that's what I've heard. He's not going to be a – he needs to just get healed up. And what, and when it's, his, it's his time, after that, you know, that midway point through the season when he might be healthy again, depending on how fast his ACL recovery is, because ain't nobody about to sign him right now. Like, I'm not about to sign you just to be on IR. You're not – this ain't you coming off that catch in uh, Sunday Night Football against the Cowboys, which they lost that game. But <laughs> it's not that. This is him coming off his third, fourth injury in the last five. Third, fourth years. I mean, yeah. so, three and four, whatever it is. I mean, because he was even injured his last year yeah. a little bit in uh, New York. So, But it, we'll wait to see. I, I guess so I don't Browns know. Browns made the moves. I think a healthy Ravens team still look out because I feel like they're going to have a For lot sure. to say because Lamar, it's just not a lot of people built like Lamar. And will, when and will Lamar get paid? You know, all these people complete got this Kyler mess going on. You got this Baker mess going on. Lamar is the MVP. You ain't hear a peep out of him. And uh, he still ain't get paid yet. I'm pretty sure that they got something in the works. And they're just trying to figure out what it's going to be. They like to fly. Ravens fly under the radar. Yeah. Ravens That's how they do. Back full strength. We have a J.K. Dobbins. Let's back. hope not. have a, a better running back in the backfield. I think they made some moves. They, uh, yeah, I mean, you still got Hollywood we, Brown over there. Every year for the last 10 years, they're relevant. Yeah. But when it counts, last 20, I mean. Since they've been back, since they've been there, for real. You know, since Ray Lewis. You, you kind of 
by Lamar a little bit. I mean, I think people are starting to finally catch on to this game. Yeah, and as the a, same way with Kansas City, you starting to catch on to their game. Uh, they need to they uh, add more today. I feel like when that is just they need to add more to their offense because Lamar is still an unstoppable player. That's what I was gonna but say he need too, more is, weapons to help diversify his game. So if you got more weapons to be concerned about on the deep end, you can't have more people just to try to spy on him or try to contain him because you're going to have to do more if you got more people to throw it to him. And they haven't made any – you haven't seen the Ravens in free agency they, at they all. They re-signed Michael Pierce uh, from our Vikings. Uh, That's how you do it. I mean, they build the core, though, linemen. They're trying to get healthy. They're just linemen, trying to get healthy. They made a couple defensive moves. They're probably going to try to build through the draft. I mean, they're a smart team over there, so they're, they're going to do all the right moves. But I'll just use Lamar's example. Like, it's time for him to get paid, too, and you don't hear nothing about him. Like, everybody else is making all these – Waves crying. You got Kyler unfollowing this team. You got Baker pouting, about to be traded. I mean, of course, respectively so, because you know they just made the move for Deshaun and they just paid him two hundred thirty-eight million guaranteed. Baker was crying before they actually made that move. He he should have just sat out last year instead of played through it. That's his problem. Yep, should listen should listen to this show. Stupid Haslam. The other thing I thought was the addition. <clears throat> Jesus, excuse me. Cleveland, they did Deshaun's presser on Friday. Yep. Haslam's were, we had a prior commitment. We're out of the country. So the Chiefs, or the Chiefs, the Browns GM, Andrew Barry, he's only 34 years old. Yeah. yeah. That's nuts. All right. How'd you feel to be up there handling those kinds of questions? Well, you're in a multi billion dollar industry with lots of women as fans. What are you doing bringing this dude in? Like, yeah. he got a lot. Those questions that they were throwing, I've, I haven't heard a lot of media actually throwing the darts and the daggers. They, the actual questions that, you know, uh, kind of scared to say. The Me Too movement too going on, these these type of allegations in this uh, carousel world, yeah, you're going to get that. But you know, you're, his the, allegations of what is this, like, I feel like they're overkilling my man. And uh, he did some, some type disgusting type things, allegedly, yep. but it's not the worst of the worst. It's not, he wasn't, I don't, he didn't really assault anyone. It was just sexual mis- not saying, not trying to demean it, but like I said, he did some disgusting things that, you know, most men shouldn't be proud of, but it ain't, you know, he ain't beat nobody, he ain't killed nobody. Well, no, he's, he have, he's still, he vehemently he, he and adamantly denies yeah. any wrongdoing, so, I mean, it's still in the courts, all of those things. But like Will's point was, they did not hold back. Usually it's puffball questions. Usually it's blah, blah, blah. He's usually force-fed answers, and it's all scripted. There wasn't any of that on Friday. He spoke to the media since. They let those media get. They let him. They let it get after him. And he, I thought he did a pretty good job, said most of the right things. He's still denying, you know, he's sticking to his story, and they're sick of their story. So we'll see what shakes out. But I just thought that's interesting. That's That's what I was about to ask. I got two questions. Yep. Go. Is it still innocent until proven guilty? One. Well, he's found out guilty already. He isn't, though. They just drop certain charges. I don't know. I'm not in the litigation. He has, that's the thing. He's not criminally charged with anything. He's not. He hasn't been found guilty of anything. He ain't no R. Kelly or nothing. And then either. two, did, did he set out? He set out all of last year. Not one game did he play. Right. Was it time served? I don't think that'll count as time served if the NFL makes a ruling for whatever. Any sort of suspension will take place in the coming year. Last year, I don't think has anything to do with that. That's another thing about one clause in his contract is that, like, this year he's only guaranteed, like, a million dollars or something. All of his contract is guaranteed, like, following this year. Yeah. And they were catching flack for – still got the rest of the contract do that because if he gets suspended this year, he's not losing any money. He was catching a lot – the Browns were catching a lot of flack for that, for oh, not man. paying him this As year. A- that way, if he gets suspended, he's not losing his money. So that's just one more wrinkle to the fold. That's what his agent was supposed to set it up that way, though. Right. I mean, it all makes sense. And then on the Browns end, they say, "Well, we we have a lot. We have too much money committed this year. He need, he can only get this much. Hill money will come later." But I saw a lot of people giving them, you know, that's one of the cop outs or one of like he's not having to pay the cost because. Do a check for me. Make sure forget. is Jacoby Brissett on that team. Now? I think that he's their backup. And they, they traded Case Keenum. But, like, we forget the root of how this all started. This didn't just start with some allegations. This started with him coming out talking about he wanted he to be to traded. Yeah. And then a week later, boom, 21 allegations, 22 women, and then it's just they started ripping him. And then he was going to sit out anyway. So it started with a sit out versus a suspension. Yeah. 
and it was over. He didn't want to play there because of how they mishandled the Rooney rule, and they didn't really hire the coach he wanted because I believe he wanted be enemy or yeah, I believe he wanted be enemy or he wanted what. The- yeah, but that's like if I got a bunch of criminal, if I got a bunch of shady stuff, that's what college coaches do all the time. They go to a new school before they get caught paying the players from the old school. What Calipari or you can pick out a handful of college basketball coaches you to know. do that. Brissett is signed three days ago with the Browns. Yeah. So I mean, does that automatically eliminate Baker from returning next year? Yeah. He's not going. I back. think he's already like. I know he said he don't want to come back. He asked for a trade, but I don't guarantee you're going to be traded. But they'll just cut him. <laughs> yeah, but if they cut him, he's still got to be. He's still on a books. That's why they're trying to trade him. They're just gonna to have to take the what the but best that's offer is trying to take the most. <laughs> he ain't going to get an offer. Is he still a starting quarterback in the NFL? Yeah, I'm not hiring 100%. him. One hundred percent. If you still got if Carson Wentz, is he better than Carson Wentz? No. That's 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 not the same. I don't even, man. man. If, if your boy Kirk Cousins go down, you take him. You want bigger? I would take him as that's a backup. What, to Kirk and that's Cousins. exactly what I think's gonna happen. Is he got no to. team is gonna want to pay anything for him. The Browns aren't, so he'll either get released or just sit there idly. I and as, somebody, as soon as somebody four? gets hurt, four weeks in, five weeks in, six weeks in, you'll see him bounce and to a that's different what's, team. What, what's going on now is you're seeing like Matt Ryan get shot for a fifth round pick. But I would, they mean, did him a solid. They, I just read. Actually, I just read that article today. They had Matt Ryan messed up. So with this whole Deshaun Watson stuff, so he went to the uh, owner Arthur Blank, Blank, and they uh, they had a conversation. And you know, it, he did a Matt Ryan was a solid dude. He did just like uh, they did with Philip Rivers, and now he got to the Colts. Uh, Matt Ryan was a solid dude, and he like he did what he had to do in that organization. You know, he always showed up to work. Or you could use Matthew Stafford as an example, but. He did what he did at the organization. He came to them. He didn't like how they was going about the uh, Deshaun Watson stuff, how they was going to just get rid of him like that. So he asked to be out. And then Arthur Blank respected him enough to let him choose where he went and took whatever back for him. So what's the difference between the Browns and Baker? Because um, it's the same thing. It's a big difference. One, uh, Matt Ryan is the quarterback to replace Michael Vick. Like, he's been in this league for a long time. He's a former MVP, and he's taking that team to the Super Bowl. Baker Mayfield, on the other hand, now he did. Well, I don't understand why Brown fans just, like, you know, boo-boo, doo-doo on him. Uh, it was the expectations that they had from last year. But, but the, my, my, my point, of a number one like, like pick. but the thing is, yeah, too, yeah. It, is are they thinking, are they forgetting about who they are? Since the Browns has been, yes. like, and they, are they forgetting <laughs> about the last, I'm 28 years old, and are they forgetting about the last 20 some, some odd yeah. years of the quarterback carousel that they had had, that they have had in the last 20 some odd years? Baker may not, he's literally the best quarterback that, he, of course, excluding Deshaun Watson, that's now, shout out to them. Talent, right? you're saying talent. But Baker Mayfield is literally the best quarterback they have had since ever. And Until that's, now. And you say the Browns forgetting about who the Browns are. Baker's had what? A different head coach and a different offensive coordinator every, year, every single year. Except for the last two. But and when this, that this happens year, historically, he, this year you he have battled, no success. This year he battled injuries, and he's and instead of him sitting out like Kyler did, he tried to fight through it, and he looked bad, and he got killed for it. And for some reason, Baker Mayfield is the talk of the talk, and he's still the talk of the talk. They even talk about him backing up Brady. But – it's similar to Jimmy G in San Francisco. Like Jimmy G catches a bunch. Jimmy G over. catches a bunch of flack. It's because he's like it's because he's not good. It's like well, he's it, there's a lot more to it than that. His success as a starter, he wins as a starter. When you watch him play, when it comes down to big crucial games, when it comes to making good decisions, when it comes to not making bad decisions and like making that decision and not throw a poor ball, they both don't do that. Baker is like it's he's that a little bit of like there's a little bit of Brett Favre. It's, a little bit of Brett it's Favre. damn hard to play QB in the NFL. Just, the problem is they all get Favre to the best. Johnny Manziel. Nah, like, I, I mean, I, I, how much I'm difference not, is he than Johnny? He's when tell me when did Johnny win a playoff game? How many games did Johnny Manziel even start? When did Johnny he take his team season. and win the division? Or what didn't even win a division because the Ravens was just so good, but they made the playoffs and they upset the team that's been spanking them for a while, the Steelers. They did something that the you know the Bengals couldn't do. But this is also the best Browns the team. Game. The Browns Until, had their you know, best year, squad but. for the last two. You know, this is the best Browns team that Baker's been a part of. Yeah, and this last like this years. past year they've been there's a lot of mess going on. Odell's dad, he's been hurt. The team been banged up. 
you know, they didn't they didn't pull through this season. They had a lot of expectations for the first time ever, ever. The Browns actually had expectations because of what they did the year prior, because of what Baker did, beating the Steelers and hanging it in there to to hang with the Chiefs. And he should have been able to take down Chad Henney because Patrick Mahomes did go down and they had a chance to believe they was down by four at one point and he just couldn't get get it done at that point. That was COVID year, right? No, nah, that was after COVID. That's twenty twenty one. Just last year. Or twenty yeah, but it was post COVID. Or twenty I don't know. But <laughs> not this past season, two seasons ago, man. <laughs> I guess that is 2020. That's the COVID year, man. I, I thought it was COVID-19. Oh, Jamal's gone. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, what else? Well, I mean, Amari Cooper's there. What do you get? I don't know. Mm-hmm. The Browns, when, when Deshaun Watson's able to take the field, that's when the narrative will change. All right. In the NFC, though. If he starts winning. What do you thought? It's, you know, we've been talking about Matt Ryan. You're kind of a Matt Ryan dude. I've been saying him to the Niners. I've been saying him to a nice organization. I think that, like I said, like I was talking about. So what about the Colts? How do you think he fits? The Colts got a good team. The Colts, I've always, I keep saying this. This team is built for Andrew Luck, and he retired one year too soon. Maybe he took a beating. He took a beating. Dog, you could have took one Matt more Ryan beating. Ryan ain't too much but, different. I mean, Luck was a little bit more of a physical runner, and. Rock, but but Ryan, I mean, no, nah, I'm saying this as far as like this because the Colts is a solid, great that's the def- thing. They're great a defense, good roster, they're good, a good good team, top back, one of the top backs in the game, a nice, all, nice offensive. Uh, they got Campbell from Ohio State. Uh, good offense. Still, they still got a Ty good defense. So yeah. that's what I'm solid saying. Solid offense. The line is the line that luck wish he had and they made the playoffs with Philip Rivers and you know uh, Carson Wentz ain't better than Baker but he blew it like I don't they lost to the Jaguars to not make the playoffs that that was on Carson I think Baker would have got that done but that's just me yeah, Michael Pittman Jr. out there yeah yeah and who else? they look Campbell T.Y. Hilton I'm Campbell here. Paris Campbell yeah Buckeye but, Paris uh, Campbell, he's kind of a slot. It's Michael a great Pittman's, move. Michael Pittman's coming I, into it's his It's going to get them to win the AFC they got, South. They got They're Mo Alley Cox, who's year. a pretty good tight end. But the main thing is, like, football team, it's offensive lines, stout defense, and if you got a run game to lean on, you should be able to have success, which is why Baker should have had success with the Browns. He Injuries, did. some other things, blah, blah, blah. I'm talking last, like, two years specifically. Yeah. But that's what I'm asking is Matt Ryan's getting put into a good situation. You think they're going to win the AFC South? Yeah, hundred percent. Colts. That's it. <laughs> the Jaguars and the Houston. Uh, and Houston, yeah. Okay, so the Jag. Jaguars made a little bit of moves. You know, the uh, the dude Kirk is the reason why people are getting paid right now. That's why I, that's why I'm hearing the because the, uh, the Jaguars signed uh, C- Christian Kirk, I think, mm-hmm. from or traded for him and gave him a big twenty three million, eighty four million over yeah, four years. Twenty three million. Yeah. Right so right? no, nah, he's no, a receiver. He's the reason why Adams and uh, Tyreek Hill and these other uh, other wide receivers just made this money. Christian Kirk's more of a slot him. receiver, like speed Arizona. demon. Arizona Cardinals, yeah. 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 Yep. But they're trying to get, you know, they're trying to give uh, my man Sunshine some weapons down there. They're going to be fighting for third place, unfortunately. And I really think that the uh, the Colts is going to come out that conference. So, uh, so Titans Jack take Wires a major step back. All right, number one, Tight- number one pick again. No, it's Jack. Uh, I think they got the second pick. Well, for sure, it's the Jags. It's a good question. I think they got the second pick. I thought I'm for sure that I seen back to back number one draft picks from the Jags. But who's even at the number one spot right now? Who's, who's coming out that that? Could Aiden, be? Aiden Hutchinson projected number one for the Lions. The J- Lions got the one spot. No yeah. Jags. It's the Jags, man. Round one, pick one. Jags, Lions. I could have. Because they kept talking about Aiden Hutchinson going home to Detroit. But anyway, I mean, the Colts is going to win that division. The Titans going to take a major step back. Well, we don't mean the Jaguars is the Jaguars. The Titans are going to make a step back. Take a step back. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Uh, because of you're number one in the AFC. That was the number one C AFC. I just I don't think they can repeat it. I not really, that it was necessarily it was like, like a flash in the pan, but they don't have Tana. I don't think Tannehill can get them over twelve wins, and they had great the success because they're, in a, the legs cause they're in a very weak. Comp, I'm not saying weak that they division. get back to the number one in the AFC, but to be able to win at AFC South when it's already a weak conference, it was only weak because Carson Wentz didn't get the job done. Yeah, I mean, That's the it's only other team kind of some. With. 
That's the only other team to compete with them. They've been running the division the past couple of years, you know, tighten up and all that stuff. But the Colts made the right moves. And I think with with a real quarterback, a real leader like Matt Ryan, a former MVP, they'll be able to get the job done. I'll take the best quarterback in that division is now Matt Ryan. AFC South or NFC East, worst conference in the NFL? Definitely AFC South. NFC both, East. AFC South got two teams that's in the bottom. The a- NFC East, I mean, it's still the Philly made the playoffs. Dallas made one the, team out of every division two, makes the playoffs. No, but the NFC East had two teams <laughs> that made the playoffs last year. So I mean, they, Philly made the they lost to the Bucks in the first in the wild card. They made the playoffs. That's two teams right there. Uh, the the South got two teams as well. But the, the Col- Col- Colts would have made it if they wouldn't. Allow, you know. And they lost to the Dags. But I just think that when you look at the bottom feeders. No, I wouldn't send it well. The, but I, the NFC teams are worse than the Giants, but if the, you ask me. But the Titans had the number one seed in the AFC. In the so And they lost to the fourth seed. It doesn't matter. I mean, tough team they the lost their first seed. playoff matchup. No, NFC East is, I mean, the Cowboys, man. They're the worst team in the world. So, NFC East is the uh, worst division. like a little bit is. of Cowboy hate, though. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what that is. I mean, so, I'm, I mean, I mean, I'm not a fan of the Cowboys either, but I mean, I'm just saying they had two teams that made it. I think that uh, Jalen Hurts will, will keep them in a 7-6 competing spot. Uh, you know, the commanders and – see, you're, if you're pro Carson Wentz, well, can the, command, the commanders' defense come back? And I'm mad that I remembered that they're called the Commanders. It's so, like I remembered it on you guys Command. Like that, man? <laughs> they're tough, man. Nah, I hate it. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I didn't. I just still feel like they should have been. <laughs> but if you ask me, I'll, since you became the football team, you might uh, as well should have just. That's what I thought. The football that, team. Yep. My like, ear, Washington D.C. They got nice jerseys though. I don't know if you guys. Seen I've seen jerseys. some. Of, yeah, they look. Kind of, I like the. I seen like one black. I, I saw the all black. black. That was kind of yeah. cool. But if the defense could come back, you know, my man Young, uh, uh, yeah, sweat, sweat. If the, they could come there back, there you go. And if and you still got scary, you got Mc, you got yeah, you got McLaurin. Right. You Ron got uh, my, what's my coach. man Curtis Samuel. You, they got a nice run game. Then with McKissick and Gibson, Antonio Gibson and Gibson. Uh, the question is Carson Wentz, but. No, I don't believe in that. Nah, not now. He can't. I mean, and I believed well, in the Colts last the same year. Same one that took Philly. No, he didn't take Philly nowhere. He got injured. He got he them did. to he like the AFC. What no. two or he got him to the playoffs. When did uh, the NFC, he got hurt in the divisional that was the 2017 round? Seventeen year. Yeah, no, he got, he got no. He got hurt like week fifteen against the Rams. The he very took, end of the regular season. Yeah. The Colts took him all the way through the playoffs. Yeah, all the way through the playoffs. That was all false. I thought folks picked he up. He even like finished the regular championship. NFC. NFC. See, that's no. what I thought. I was no. thinking it was divisional or. Nah, but no. it, this is all. I mean, this is all beside the point. Like, Wentz ain't been good since then, though. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's not debatable. Nope, it ain't. You know, you're quarterback. So you know, everybody likes to hold on to quarterbacks as your a forty six barometer of success. Yeah. But uh, you no. Know, oh moves. no, we got we got time. We got time. Sports, sports emphasis is downstairs going until ten now. So, oh, every week. Yep. Oh yeah. So, All so right. we got a new little bit more time. Um, we should beat this horse to death. All right. So, hoops. I definitely say that. AF, nah, I mean, no, we still. Uh, what do you got left? You know, Brady's on retirement. Did we mention that last episode? I don't That's remember. That's old news. That's so long ago. You know, Rogers going back. Eight what is what? So what is what is uh, Devontae Adams leaving the NFC North? Me? Does that? I think that says you're the MVP. Show me why you're really the MVP. Now you got to spread the ball around. You got to actually make your players great, which I don't think he's capable of. Yeah, we'll see what Rogers can do. I'm excited for Derek Carr and Devontae, though old college teammates. Praise no. And the, yeah. I mean, you still got Aaron Jones over there. That's still a, that strong run game, and you still got yeah. Aaron. Rodgers. And they'll add. So, I mean, wanna, the main thing will be to see who they add at wide receiver. Yeah, For now, it's just there. like we I, all, I don't imagine that Allen that never do. Well, they're gonna. I mean, they will have to. So will the thing is, at this point, we don't know what kind of rookies coming in. And yeah, you can trust a rookie with Rodgers, man. Pfft. Will he trust a rookie unless they let him draft him himself? But yeah, who I knows? Mean, but probably not. So I mean, I'm you know I'm a really I'm really expecting a lot out of the new coach Kevin O'Connell, and uh, I'm I really think that they're gonna take the North. You don't think Aaron uh, Rodgers is on the same GM type LeBron type move? You know where 
they want to go through you him. Mean like make bad moves like, like Jordan trade Lowe. for Russell Westbrook? Nah, nah, nah. I ain't going there. <laughs> so what are you talking about? You think do they he is a LeBron? Him. He's the biggest diva in football. Like LeBron is the biggest diva. Are they gonna diva. let him? They gonna let, they mean, gonna what let him to, choose? What do you want me to say? They're gonna let him choose his guys. That's what, what I'm saying. Nah, I don't wow. think Gooden Cool is still sending shots at that man. So I don't know. You know, Brian Goody. Packers uh, front office just don't seem like they know what they're doing. I think that they haven't given him any help in the past I few years. Aaron, like they, we've they seen. allow Aaron to put them in a stranglehold. He took all the bag, and Devontae got up out of there. Um. Aaron well, to your point, a, they Aaron should. Aaron Rodgers is a very selfish own. quarterback. He's very talented and you know, one of the best to ever do it and the best in the league. Back to back MVP. He get, he's like all the money that came to him, whatever, that's fine. But I think it really hurt the team. That's why you weren't able to bring back Zadarius Smith. And there is no Smith brothers. Yeah. And Zadarius Smith pulled a big left because I think he was going to the Ravens at first. And he pulled uh, I just Greg had Hardy. Up. No. Yeah, Greg Hardy moved when he re-signed with the Cowboys, Dude, that was but he went to the Broncos. Actually, I mean, I'm not mad at that move. Why not go to the Broncos? They, no, he made a good one, but that was just, yeah. I thought it was he did. He did what, uh, what's my man's name? He's the coach of the Raiders now. Uh, he did that with the Broncos the last time. So, so Darius Smith pulled that move, and now he's with the Vikings. The Vikings also signed a uh, middle linebacker for the from the Cardinals. We'll see what the Vikings is able to do. The off, they got a top five offense. Nobody believes in Kirk Cousins. That's fine. It's a new coach. I think it, he, uh, the coach already said he's on record saying they're going to use him a lot like they did with Cooper Cup. Justin Jefferson does have that type of talent. We'll see how he get it done. But, yeah, the Darius Smith was going to sign with the Ravens. Yeah, he said negative. Potential reunion. Negative. Who's your MVP next year? It's just too early, but. Uh... Jesus, Derrick Henry. I would say it's running back ain't been MVP since when? No, nah, it'd never be Derrick Henry. It's just at my man Adrian Peterson. Yeah. But oh uh, man, he just put me on the spot. Favorite should Matt be Ryan. Justin Herbert. <laughs> I think the MVP favorite should be Justin Herbert. Dark horses, Russell Wilson, R- Matthew Russell Stafford. Cole. Um, Joe man. Burrow in the back in the, in the dark dark horse category, there. but I think if it, if like just like uh, the uh, preseason MVP favorite was Luka Doncic, I think uh, Justin Herbert got that type of what he's doing to the NFL at quarterback. It's kind of what Luka's doing as this new era young dude. So I think that uh, Justin Herbert is going to be uh, MVP favorite next year since you just put me on the spot. All right. Got the NFL draft coming up April 28th, probably about a couple weeks away. Seeing a lot of speed. Got Chris Olave coming out. Got uh, homie Garrett Wilson coming out. So it's a lot of guys that's going to be able to fill some spots that uh, teams are going to need. But going to be able to see a lot of those young talents. Chandler Jones went to the Raiders? I didn't know that. Who's that? Chandler Jones. Yeah. Okay, they got a nice – they made a defensive move. Dude, yeah. It wasn't just Devontae Adams. Okay. But the Raiders still fighting for third with the Chiefs. Mm. Rock goes all the way. That's going to be a tough division, man. Oh, yeah, for sure. You can't. You got to take the points. Got to take the points, Chargers. Staley. Stop being. Don't be stale. All right. AFC West, NFC West. <laughs> right, one all of the right. Heavy divisions. with the brackets. We went heavy with the uh, NBA NFL time. talk. We could do a quick NBA rundown. But we ain't, right, ain't no levels. No, no levels. levels. NBA playoffs start April 16th. So we'll be able to get the levels I in believe. next week. I believe. Last levels games will be week. the 10th. Next Monday is April 4th. National Championship Monday. Jared's previews into the playoffs. We can do that on my birthday. Cool. What day is your birthday? April 11th. Two days before my daughter's. Nice. Her birthday the 13th. Harry's gang. All right, man. Quick little NBA, man. We ain't even. It's a you know, Lakers is holding on to the tenth spot barely. Dear life, they don't like. And the, and the Spurs, say, look the it Spurs, up. Spurs. What do we got? Eight Pelicans. games left, probably right in that ballpark. Eight, nine games for each team. Real quick, UConn women and the NC State women are all tied up at fifty-seven. How much time left? Three minutes left in the fourth quarter. Wow. 
That's a that's a big battle. On ESPN, I bet my homie Casey and his girlfriend are watching UConn. I think Nicole went to Connecticut. Her answer up there is something. Anyway, bonus, bonus, tied at 59s. Exciting. I mean, I don't know, dude. Women's bas- women's college hoops is pretty exciting, actually. I've enjoyed it. Yeah, fundamental basketball. It's all, it, Everyone wants to see fundamentals and see how the game is supposed to be played. Look at the women's game. Because it's pure can, skill. It's just a lot of the high flying. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's just different. I mean, yeah, you know, same game, but yeah, played played very differently. A um, bunch of Steve Nash is running around. I've enjoyed it. Somebody get this message to Joe B. Get Brittany Griner home. There you go. Hey Joe B. Was at the UFC event too on, on Saturday night. Oh, was he? Yeah, they put they put him on a uh, nice. screen. Man, yeah, the <sighs> yeah. Get Brittany Griner home. If our government's good for anything, it'd be nice. A little bit of weed ain't hurt nobody. And I heard she do. Oh, I, the I mean, right, but that's the not the point. Too. The point the is, over there, she can. make more money overseas playing basketball than she do in the NBA with a max deal. She make two hundred twenty eight thousand in the WNBA, but she make millions across the seas. And for her to be held up over there just for having a little dab of hash, yeah, I think that's. I, think, really I think it's water. deeper than that. I mean, we had a. Uh, yeah, but the one thing, like, it doesn't matter what it is. It's This is international, global, like, politics, other countries. They have their own laws. You can't be doing that no matter what it is, whatever you think it is. Like, rule one, international travel. Oh, yeah. Come on. Yeah. Like, what are you thinking? Rule one Let's, for sure. <laughs> dude, don't, like. So, I, you know, it's ter- it's an awful situation that she's in. But I wish we could get some diplomacy, oh, get her out of there. But she shouldn't have been taking whatever stuff she was taking in there. But man, anyhow, man, that's just one nobody. of those things that if you can, yeah, if you can go make more money overseas, Great, go do it. But WNBA needs to get some of that pay yeah. up. Being locked up against your will over some stupid and petty is not fun at all. Hopefully, this isn't like no. Uh, now, if nobody's uh, familiar with the Cappy Pondexter story, look into it. She went missing for a couple of years. And, uh, well, she claimed that she went missing for a couple of years, came back, told her story about it. It's, it's kind of wild. Uh, it could be one of them type situations. Now, Brittany, we're talking about Brittany Griner, but it kind of went on the wraps for some weeks. I then, like, I seen people started talking about it again. At the next thing you know, the next day, boom, something happens. It could be, there's a lot of, I think somebody's controlling this behind the scenes. For sure. They well, and then the- Free Brick. Yeah, I mean that's the other thing too. That's not most most countries are not like the U.S. and we have yeah, too. we have no idea what's going on over there, especially when it comes to Russian controlled state media, et cetera. There's there ain't no free press like we doing. So let's take advantage of our freedom and liberty to use the airwaves yeah, as we it choose. Sucks when they take it away, man. Dude, and right. Then, the f- All right. UConn up two fifty nine. Eight games left in the NBA season. Breaking news is that Boston Celtics are on a tear, twenty-two and three since Christmas. Burst. Yeah, since Christmas, hottest top, team in the NBA, top defense. But the Heat center, are Heat are falling apart. Their seat, their center Reggie Williams just tore his ACL. That that is going to hurt them come playoff time because Reggie Williams could have been an impossible most improved player conversation. He made, he took that step. He's the anchor of that defense, and him them losing him is bad. It's bad for that team. I mean, that, that race for number one in the East is so tight right now. You look at Everybody the top four. Everybody's a half four, game yeah. spread, half, half game out in Boston. From one to four is half game. Yeah. So, you the know. one slip up. I know the bull, the, my Bulls held down the one spot for the majority of the beginning of the season. They they just kept it warm for these other teams. <laughs> a lot of people have been throwing shade at me about my Bulls. Right now, I'm not liking the 4-5 matchup at all <sighs> because I would love to avoid and beat. If if anything, I would want Miami to drop down to that fourth spot. If I'm being honest, I really wanted to face Boston or Miami. I would have liked to go up to the fourth spot so we could play. I mean, uh, I wanted us to be three so we could play either Cleveland or Toronto, but we ain't gonna be. We're not gonna be able to make that. Now we just hoping Lonzo could come back because we ain't gonna be able to be the same. We ain't been the same since our defense have taken a major step back. The Bulls taking major. The Bulls have taken a major step back. And the Roses' little MVP campaign is, is dropped. His numbers this month is isn't long the gone. Best. Zach and since Zach, Zach Levine has drained his knee, he has he ain't been quite as consistent. Now we we did just beat the uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers. That ain't too much, but the Bulls are still two and sixteen against the top 
top three teams in both conferences. So I've always known that. That's why I was big on the Sabonis move. The other top teams, I do I believe in Boston and Miami? No. So look out for, you know, the the, the real the reigning champs right now should be the favorites. Now the the Nets is crazily still the favorites to come out the East along with Milwaukee. Dude, right? Yeah. I mean, now, now don't get me wrong. I'm pro Nets, and I'm you know I'm still saying that the Nets is going to get the job done because none of these teams. I guarantee you, Boston and Miami definitely don't want to play Brooklyn at seven or eight. I could guarantee you that because I could still see Brooklyn making a, a seven spot due to the play in. Watch them just drop like five straight, miss the playoffs in time. Brooklyn miss the playoffs in time. Oh no, that won't, and, uh, that won't happen just because Kyrie is now able to play the all oh, home games. So they did just lose to the Hornets and the season lost to the season series to the Hornets. But you Watch can't you can't sleep on Lamelo Ball in them. You cannot sleep. You know I'm pro I'm pro Melo hashtag tank for Melo. I started that, but you can't sleep on them. And they got they got them. They they got them that night. Kyrie was kind of first home game and second home game. He gonna really light it up. They're gonna they, they need to finish the season strong, three games above five hundred. So Atlanta's not gonna catch them. The question is, they got they gotta have finished the season with a better record than the Hornets and can they catch the Cavs? So right now, let me get this straight because you just said a lot real real fast. The eight versus nine for sure plays in the play in game. It's, se- it's seven, it's seven versus seven eight. Versus ten. No, it's it's seven versus eight, nine versus ten. In the first play in games. How does that make any sense? So like wouldn't it be seven, ten, and eight, nine? No. Or it might be seven, ten, eight, nine. Yeah. It is okay, okay. Yeah. And then whoever wins the seven ten. No, no. Because they're battling nah, for the yeah, yeah, no, yeah, the, no, right. no, 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 right. no, 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 no. This is not it's not that type of uh, format because that's if it was like a bracket. It's not a bracket. They're really fighting for the seed itself. Right. So seven to eight is fighting for the seventh seed. And so it'd be it'd be uh Nine, Cleveland, 10, Cleveland it'd be it'd be Cleveland Hornets, Brooklyn, Atlanta. Right. That's how that matchup would be. So if say Cavs and the Hornets play, if if the Hornets win, the Hornets move to seven, and the Cavs fall to eight, and the Cavs have to play the winner of nine and eight. You're right. So the nine and I mean nine and ten. I right? gotcha. Nine and ten has to play two games. Seven and eight has to play one game if they win. Right. That's the format. Yeah. You're so. Right. Which the Cavs losing? I thought the Cavs for sure was gonna be that sixth spot, but they done lost these. They, they on them, since Jared Allen went down, they ain't been looking good. I don't. I don't totally believe in Philly, but with MB, they could definitely beat the Bulls in a first round matchup. I wouldn't doubt that at all. And that's as a Bulls fan. So all the trolls out there, if we, they might be right, be, depending on that seven game series. But if I believe Harden gonna choke like I do, you know James St. Patrick, they said that's a bad take, but they need to check the numbers. He really go ghost. Who shot ghost? Was it Tariq or did James shoot himself? I don't know. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, man. I'm not trying to see and be for seven games. Not at all. No, we've not with the extra. Not with us being so small and Vooch being our only big. That's why I wanted us to get some bonus or trade for Miles Turner. Tristan Thompson wasn't wasn't really the move. He Up, update: UConn and NC State going into overtime. That's overtime. overtime. NC State missed three. And with that's one the, second that's left. The, so the East is really wide open technically, but I think the Bucks man respect the defending champs on my uh, respect the defending champs. Uh, Giannis is still in the MVP conversation. He could well, he could lead the league in scoring this year, and then out of putting that on his resume would be outstanding. Between Bron, I think, I think the Seventy Sixers are going to win the East for some reason. I hope they don't, but uh, I, I I believe you're wrong. But if it happens, it happens. I wouldn't be shocked because Embiid is really on that type of mission, and he's that type of dude. And if Harden could give him something, right? If Harden could give him something of an efficient night on a closeout game, because Harden's closeout games is what's really terrible. So <laughs> that's the that's the thing. We just got to see how Philly would do. If Philly right now they're the four seed. So being on a four or five matchup, that side of the bracket is actually weak. They could get to the conference finals on right. being on that side of the bracket. So if I'm Philly, I might want to stay there. They'd definitely be favored over Chicago, and that's my team. At the end, they'll play Boston the next round. Or well nah, because if Boston played if Boston played Brooklyn, it's slow. I'm telling you. Especially with yeah. that Reggie Millions Reg Reggie Williams, uh Williams injury. So Philly might be able to get to the conference finals if they stay on that side of the bracket, bracket, and they can avoid Milwaukee. All right. 
Give us a little bit of West. The I West. Know you, I know you like the East. The Suns. Just a little bit. Got it on Smash, but everybody loves Ja and the Grizzlies. The Grizzlies yes, are fit. Ja is out for two weeks. He returned like the week before the season ends or something like that. But Strategic the Grizzlies. Strategic move. But the Grizzlies, because he did get hurt earlier in the season and Ja isn't, but Ja's young, trying to save him for later. So. The Grizzlies is fifteen and two without him. Might even be sixteen and two without him. They they've beaten solid. They beat the they beat other good teams yep. like the Warriors, the Nets. And some some people may say the Nets is bad, but they uh, they competed with the Suns. They beat the Jazz. They beat they've beaten all the other top. They beaten they're the only team that really one of the few teams to beat Boston. They beaten the Bucks. They just beat the Bucks the other night. Um, like so, the, the, the everybody loves the Grizzlies. So look out for them with with the Golden State Warriors taking a step back and that injury to Steph Curry and Clay still not being one hundred percent Clay Thompson. We don't know what they're gonna do in a playoff series. Draymond, you know, you know that's how it all started with Draymond. Draymond's my guy, but without Steph, Draymond is almost obsolete. Draymond. They do run the <laughs> offense through Draymond. He's their, he's literally their point guard, man. Draymond Green is their point guard. Oh, Draymond Green is their Draymond, point guard. A lot five of people, and five in the last ten. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy that I'm finally happy that I will get to see Dallas play somebody other than the Clippers because now Luca versus Donovan Mitchell. If if this was the playoff matchup right now, or it might be Luca versus Nikola Jokic. Let's see. How, I, would, I just want to see Luca play you somebody mentioned else. The, uh, the Clippers. I think I seen some Paul George Paul has George. started five on five today. Uh, Kawhi is already he's in a shoot around at every game. So with with that dark being horse, said, dark horse, it has to be the Clippers and see see people gonna tie me to that. Yeah, the clip. Yeah, I said that the Clippers and the Nets are gonna be the scariest seven seeds in history. <laughs> Just like and it ain't gonna be no St. Peter's run. They're gonna be like the the AFC Tar Heels. <laughs> Who's the so, only? Uh, go ahead. Isn't there an eight seed? Weren't the were the Nuggets like the only eight seed to ever make the finals? Or eight seed be the one seed? Uh, I think was the no, I ain't no eight seed ever make no uh, finals. But the eight seed that I was mean, that the Golden last, State Warriors be upsetting the Mavericks. Yeah, or something we like believe that. team with something like that. See, like the the the, the thing yeah, about anyway. the Clippers is because they would be in this the bubble bracket right two, now. They'd be in the two if they were healthy all season. They'd be in this two through six range. I don't know. if... If, if they were healthy all season with Paul George and Kawhi Leonard, remember, Kawhi hasn't played at all this season. Paul George hasn't played since, I want to say, November. So, I saw and like the Clippers, that. now they, I guess they didn't hit a little skid mark, three games below 500, but they not, they're going to, they're going to get the eighth spot for sure, but they're still in playing territory. But by playing time, they might have both of their superstars. They got superstars coming back. They're going to get the games they're remaining. Deep. That's what we need. Reggie to Jackson, that. Reggie Jackson has been balling all year. The, the, the Clippers is deep. But I don't. I don't think that. I don't see the Pelicans or the Lakers beating them. If they, if they, especially if they get their guys back, I don't know if the Clippers could hang with the Timberwolves without their guys because Cat is on a mission to at least show that he can. He's a winning player, and I feel like a team like Chicago should make a move to trade for him next year. But I really think that I think that the the, uh, the playoffs will be what the West is right now, but the sum of the season will be different between. Uh, Top six is staying. Four worse, through so. six is what's going right. to keep alternating in the West. Yep. One, two, and three is going to stay the same. Seven, I think. I think that the the uh, the Clippers and the Timberwolves is going to be the seventh and eighth spot. I don't know how it's going to work. If if the Clippers could beat the Timberwolves, can the Lakers get the? Uh, I mean, the, the Timberwolves have had the Lakers number yes. all year, so I don't know. And plus, the the Pelicans didn't have the Lakers number. They just blew a twenty three point game a lead the last night to the Pelicans, and the Pelicans beat them the last time. So can the Lakers? I mean, they got AD and Bron, you know, all that, you know, fighters chance nonsense. But the Lakers is a bad team. What was the Bron's uh, zero dark? How he said? Yeah, zero dark. He ain't zero dark thirty no more. He activated playoff mode months ago, and we're still waiting. <laughs> All he all he produces a couple fifty point games and even pass Carl Malone. You know, kudos, congrats, the king, the king, individual. The king stats. reigns in, but the king's reigned on. So individual it's, it's, stats. It's not it's the sun. It's not this. It's, uh, it rains in LA. <laughs> it does rain in LA, and it, and it's a thunderstorm at the crypto. It's a trash fucking trash pile, man. Yeah, dumpster fire. Like I said, dumpster like, fire. Like my son would say, dog water. There you go, dog water. All right. But and and if they don't get it together, especially with Brown and them not playing tonight, they might not even make the playoffs. And we'll see what we talk about next week. That's all. 
because uh, the Spurs, I think, own the head to head versus the Lakers. Lakers got a tough schedule. They got to play the Warriors. I think they play the Suns again, and I, or unless they already played the Suns, and I think they they play the Nuggets and they got the Rockets and the Thunder, I believe. Or they they definitely got the Thunder in there, and they don't they don't they don't got many gimme games. They got to earn it, and they already the stars are you know bronze knee hurt tonight, so it is what it is. I think they in two K talk they they call that selling, but my only question is how for real is the Suns and will they be back out the West? Because Devin Booker has been carrying that team and Chris Paul is now back. It's a good question, man. Like even they uh, Embiid they hit him up. Uh, I think last night or Saturday, but they withstood it and they still won that game. I mean that record says a lot about them. Eight game win streak. Yeah, nine and one in the last ten. They're on pace to almost win uh, 67 games, 67, 68 games. All right. Find out. Stay tuned. The NBA playoffs is coming up soon. What you say, Jersey Ryan? levels will be coming soon. I'm just trying to see some of this other stuff happen and they're going into the playoffs. We're really going to get it ready. Uh, but watch out, man. A lot of people like <laughs> Memphis. I might like Memphis, too. You know, Derrick Rose 2.0 is there. Called them for my finals. They'll come out the West. Like, like a... Like I told you, if Joe Burrow and them could do it, I think the the Grizzlies is on a Bengals type move. Dude, right. I like it. Yes, sir. All right, they're not afraid. That's my thing. They're not afraid on some Eminem type stuff. Well, it's that time, gang. Shout out to my man Jeremy dropping all the hot fire bars today, man. He came focused. We back on that's debatable. Thank you for joining us. Uh, before we get out of here again, shout out to my mom. Happy birthday. Shout out, Mama Ward. And uh, make sure you follow me on all platforms, Will Ward 288. And we're going to get it up on YouTube. Continue to like, share, and, and subscribe, subscribe to the uh, That's Debatable YouTube channel. You got it. All right. For Ryan Dietrich, I'm out of here. Take us away, boys. Thanks hey, for tuning man. in, fam. Hey, shout out to them boys in the Chai County Regional Jail. Uh, hold your heads, man. Uh, everybody in that type of situation, I ain't, we just everybody in that situation, man. Prayers to them, man. Some some people are in better situations than others in that same situation, but everybody just make it through your time, make it through y'all's, make it through y'all's day, get by, and just do whatever you got to do to not go back. I don't understand how people, I don't understand how people, man. Revolving doors, sir. Man, it, that's a whole it's crazy because I mean yep. that's a whole other subject. We might not got time for it, but as 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 I was walking out, another brother, another young brother was walking in. It was it's just crazy. The, he probably got the you know we ain't gonna go deep into that, but yeah. that's just my take real quick. This is that's debatable episode. Larry Legend, you know thirty three. In case you ain't know, to the thirty third power, we ain't on no you know some c- uh, conspiracy stuff. If you you know, but you know episode thirty three next week might be Shack and you know Shack Attack, Hacker Shack, whatever you want to call yeah, it. Yeah, Barkley. You know. Before we all the way gone, man. Shout out to. Uh, Pickerington Central and the Reynoldsburg girls, both state champions. State champs. Out of Central oh, Ohio. The Nubians did they thing. And, you know, it's, it's Afrocentric, not Afro. Get it right. They corrected me, and they definitely get that respect. So shout out to them people that's over there on Stelzer, right <laughs> by my jizzah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. That's debatable, baby. Oh, yeah. oh I miss. Acha. Who the greatest? No, not the latest. Ain't that debatable? Yeah, check this.